Tahalim. The Book of Psalms. Baruch is the man who shall not walk in the counsel of the wicked, and shall not stand in the path of sinners, and shall not sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the Torah of Yahuwah, and he meditates in his Torah day and night. For he shall be as a tree planted by the rivers of water, that yields its fruit in its season, and whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not rise in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahuwah knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked comes to naught. Why do the Gentiles rage, and the peoples meditate emptiness? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together, against Yahuwah and against his Mashiach. Let us tear apart their bonds, and throw away their ropes from us. He who is sitting in the Shamaim laughs. Yahuwah mocks at them. Then he speaks to them in his wrath, and troubles them in his rage. But ah. I have put my sovereign on Sion, my Kodesh mountain. I inscribe for a law. Yahuwah has said to me, You are my bond. Today I have brought you forth. Ask of me, and I make the Gentiles your inheritance, and the ends of the earth your possession. Break them with a rod of iron. Dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. And now, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you rulers of the earth. Serve Yahuwah with reverence and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the bond, lest he be enraged and you perish in the way. For soon his wrath is to be kindled. Baruch are all those taking refuge in him. Asama Dawid, when he fled from Absalom, his son. O Yahuwah, how my adversaries have increased. Many rising up against me. Many are saying to me, There is no deliverance for him in Elul. Selah. But you, O Yahuwah, are a shield for me. My esteem and the one lifting up my head. I cried to Yahuwah with my voice, and he heard me from his Kodesh mountain. Selah. I, I lay down and slept. I awoke. For you who has sustained me, I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have turned themselves against me all around. Arise, O Yahuwah, save me, O my Lord. Because you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek, you have broken the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to Yahuwah. Your Baraka is on your people. Selah. To the chief singer, on stringed instruments, Asama Dawid. Answer me when I call, O Allure of my righteousness. You gave relief to me when I was in distress. Show favor to me and hear my prayer. Till when, O you sons of men, would you turn my esteem to shame? Would you love emptiness? Seek falsehood, Selah. But know that Yahuwah has separated a kind one for himself. Yahuwah hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. Speak within your hearts on your bed and be still. Selah. Offer slaughterings of righteousness and trust in Yahuwah. Many are saying, who will show us good? Yahuwah, lift up the light of your face upon us. You have put more gladness in my heart than in the season that their grain and wine increased. I lie down in peace altogether and sleep. For you alone, O Yahuwah, made me dwell in safety. To the chief singer on flute, Asama Dawid. Give ear to my words, O Yahuwah. Consider my meditation. Attend to the voice of my cry, my sovereign and my lord. For unto you I pray, O Yahuwah. In the morning you hear my voice. I present myself to you in the morning and I look up. 
For you are not in all taking delight in wickedness, nor does evil dwell with you. The boasters do not stand before your eyes. You hate all workers of wickedness. You destroy those speaking falsehood. You who are loaves and men of blood and deceit. But I, I enter your house in the greatness of your kindness. I bow myself toward your Kodesh Hakal in your reverence. O oh, Yahu, lead me in your righteousness because of those watching me. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no stability in their mouth. Their inward parts is destruction. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O oh, Lu. Let them fall by their own counsels. Thrust them away for their many transgressions, because they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because you shelter them. And let those who love your name exult in you. For you, Barak the righteous, O Yahuwah, you surround him with favor as with a shield. To the chief singer, with string instruments on lyre, Asama Dawid. O Yahuwah, do not rebuke me in your displeasure, nor discipline me in your wrath. Show favor to me, O Yahuwah, for I am fading away. O Yahuwah, heal me, for my bones have been troubled, and my being has been greatly troubled. And you, O Yahuwah, till when? Return, O Yahuwah. Rescue my life. Oh, save me for your kindness sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you. Who gives you thanks in the grave? I have grown weary with my groaning. Every night I flood my bed. I drench my couch with my tears. My eye has grown dim because of grief. It grows old because of all my adversaries. Depart from me, all you workers of wickedness. For Yahuwah has heard the voice of my weeping. Yahuwah has heard my pleading. Yahuwah receives my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. They turn back suddenly ashamed. In Melodious poem of Dawid, which he sang to Yahuwah concerning the words of Cush the Benjamite. O oh, Yahuwah, my Lord. In you I have taken refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and deliver me. Lest they tear in my throat like a lion, rending in pieces with no one to deliver. O oh, Yahuwah, my allure, if I have done this, if there is unrighteousness in my hands, if I have done evil to him who is at peace with me, or have plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake my being and trample my life to the ground, and lay my esteem in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Yahuwah, in your displeasure. Lift yourself up against the rage of my adversaries, and awake from me. You shall command judgment, and let the congregation of the peoples gather about you, and over them return on high. Yahuwah judges the peoples. Judge me, O Yahuwah, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me. Please let the evil of the wicked be ended and establish the righteous. For the righteous allure is a try of hearts and kidneys. My shield is upon allure who saves the upright in heart. Allure is a righteous judge and all is enraged every day. If one does not repent, he sharpens his sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. And he has prepared for himself instruments of death. He makes his arrows hot for pursuers. See, he who is bound with wickedness and has conceived trouble and brought forth falsehood. He has made a pit and dug it out and falls into the ditch he made. His trouble turns back upon his own head and his wickedness comes down on the top of his head. I give thanks to Yahuwah according to his righteousness and praise the name of Yahuwah Most High. To the chief singer, on harp, Asama Dawid. O oh, Yahuwah, our master, how excellent is your name in all the earth. 
you who made your splendor above the Shamayim. Out of the mouth of children and infants, you have found the strength because of your adversaries to put an end to enemy and avenger. For I see your Shamayim, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have established. What is man that you remember him and the bond of man that you visit him? Yet you have made him a little less than a lure and have crowned him with esteem and splendor. You made him rule over the works of your hands. You have put all under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the Shamaim, and the fish of the sea, passing through the paths of the seas. O oh, Yahuwah, our master, how excellent is your name in all the earth! To the chief singer, on death of the bond, Asama Dawi. I praise you, O Yahuwah, with all my heart. I declare all your wonders. I rejoice in exalting you. I sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you. For you executed my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. You have rebuked the Gentiles. You have destroyed the wicked. You have wiped out their name forever and ever. The enemy is no more. Ruins everlasting. And you have uprooted the cities. Even their remembrance has perished. But Yahuwah abides forever. He is preparing his throne for judgment. And he judges the world in righteousness. He judges the peoples in straightness. And Yahuwah is a refuge for the crushed one, a refuge in times of distress. And those who know your name trust in you, for you have not forsaken those who seek you, O Yahuwah. Sing praises to Yahuwah, who dwells in Sion. Declare his deeds among the peoples, for he remembers the seekers of bloodshed. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Show favor to me, O Yahuwah. See my affliction by those who hate me, you who lift me up from the gates of death, so that I declare all your praise. In the gates of the daughter of Sion, I rejoice in your deliverance. The Gentiles have sunk down in the pits which they made, in the net which they hid, their own foot is caught. Yahuwah has made himself known, he has done right ruling. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands, meditation. Selah. The wicked return to the grave, all the Gentiles that forget Allah, for the needy is not always forgotten, neither the expectancy of the poor lost forever. Arise, O Yahuwah, do not let man prevail. Let the Gentiles be judged before your face. Put them in fear, O Yahuwah. Let the Gentiles know they are mortal. Selah. Why do you stand afar off, O Yahuwah, hiding in times of distress? In arrogance, the wicked hotly pursues the poor. They are caught by the schemes which they devised. For the wicked boasted of his cravings, and the greedy one cursed and despised Yahuwah. In the pride of his face, the wicked does not seek. In all his thoughts, there is no allure. His ways are always prosperous. Your right rulings are on high, out of his sight. He snorts at all his adversaries. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved from generation to generation, never being evil. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and wickedness. He sits in the hiding places of the villages. In the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are on the lookout for the helpless. He lies in wait in a secret place, as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor, drawing him into his net. And he crouches, he lies low, and the helpless fall under his strength. He has said in his heart, All has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He shall never see. Arise, O Yahuwah. O all, lift up your hand. 
Do not forget the lowly ones. Why do the wicked scorn the lure? He has said in his heart, It is not required. You have seen it, for you observe trouble and grief, to repay with your hand. The poor commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil one. Search out his wickedness that would not be found out. Yahuwah is sovereign forever and ever. The Gentiles shall perish from his land. Yahuwah, you have heard the desire of the lowly ones. You prepare their heart. You incline your ear to defend the fatherless and the downtrodden so that man who is of the earth no longer oppresses. To the chief singer of Dawid. In Yahuwah, I have taken refuge. Why do you say to me, flee to your mountain like a bird? For look, the wicked bend a bow. They ready their arrow on the string to shoot in darkness at the upright in heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Yahuwah is in his Kodesh Hekal. The throne of Yahuwah is in the Shamayim. His eyes see, his eyelids examine the sons of men. Yahuwah tries the righteous, but his being shall hate the wicked and the one who loves violence. Upon the wicked he rains snares, fire and sulfur, and the scorching wind are the portion of their cup. For Yahuwah is righteous, he has loved righteousness, the upright shall see his face. To the chief singer, on Lear, the Psalm of Dawid. Save, Yahuwah, for the kind one is no more, for the trustworthy have ceased from among the sons of men. They speak falsehood with each other, flattering lips, and a double heart they speak. Yahuwah cuts off all flattering lips, a tongue that speaks swelling words, who said, with our tongue we do mightily, our lips are our own, who is master over us? Because of the oppression of the poor, because of the sign of the needy, I now arise, says Yahuwah. I place in safety, he pants for it. The words of Yahuwah are clean words, silver tried in a furnace of earth, refined seven times. You guard them, O Yahuwah. You preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk around on every side when worthlessness is exalted among the sons of men. To the chief singer, the Psalm of Dawid. How long would you forget me, O Yahuwah, forever? How long would you hide your face from me? How long would I take counsel in my being, grief in my heart day by day? How long would my enemy be exalted over me? Look, answer me, O Yahuwah, my allure. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. My adversaries rejoice when I'm moved, but I have trusted in your kindness. My heart rejoices in your deliverance. I sing to Yahuwah because he has been good to me. To the chief singer of Dawid. The fool has said in his heart, There is no Yahuwah. They have done corruptly. They have done an abominable deed. There is no one who does good. Yahuwah looked down from the Shamayim on the sons of mankind. To see if there is a wise one seeking Yahuwah. They have all turned aside. They have together become filthy. No one is doing good. Not even one. Have all the workers of wickedness no knowledge. Who eat up my people as they eat bread. And do not call on Yahuwah. There they are in great fear. For Yahuwah is with the generation of the righteous. You will put to shame the counsel of the poor. But Yahuwah is his refuge. Oh, that the deliverance of Yasharal would be given out of Sion. When Yahuwah turns back the captivity of his people, 
Let Yaakov rejoice. Let Yasharal be glad. And Psalm of Dawid. Yahuwah, who sojourns in your tent, who dwells in your Kodesh mountain, he who walks blamelessly and does righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart, he has not slandered with his tongue, he has not done evil to his neighbor, nor lifted up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a reprobate one is despised, but he esteems those who revere Yahuwah, he who swears to his own hurt and does not change. He has not put out his silver at interest, and has not taken a bribe against the innocent. He who does deeds is never moved. A poem of Dawid. Guard me, O all, for I have taken refuge in you. I have said to Yahuwah, You are Yahuwah. I have no good beside you. As for the Kodoshim who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another one are increased. I will not pour out their drink offerings of blood, nor take up their names on my lips. Yahuwah is the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You uphold my lot. Lions have fallen to me in pleasant places. Indeed, a good inheritance is mine. I, Barak Yahuwah, who has given me counsel. My kidneys also instruct me in the nights. I have put Yahuwah always before me, because he is at my right hand and I am not shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my esteem rejoices. My flesh also dwells in safety. For you do not leave my being in the grave, not to let your kind ones see corruption. You show me the path of life. In your presence is joy to satisfaction. At your right hand are pleasures forever. A Prayer of Dawid Hear righteousness, O Yahuwah. Listen to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips without deceit. Let my right ruling go out from your presence. Let your eyes see what is straight. You have examined my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me. You find I have not schemed. My mouth will not transgress. As for the deeds of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept myself from the paths of the destroyer. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I have called upon you, for you answer me. O oh, all, incline your ear to me, hear my speech. Let your kindness be distinguished, you who save by your right hand, those who take refuge from those who rise up. Guard me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the face of the wicked who ravage me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They are enclosed in their own fat. They speak proudly with their mouths. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They turn their eyes to stress over the land. Like a lion who is eager to tear his prey. And as a young lion crouching in cover. Arise, O Yahuwah. Confront him. Cause him to bend. Deliver my being from the wicked by your sword. From men by your hand, O Yahuwah. From men of the world whose portion is in life and you fill their bodies with your treasure. They are satisfied with children, and you shall lead their riches to their children. As for me, let me see your face in righteousness. I am satisfied. Your appearance when I awake. To the chief singer of Dawid, the servant of Yahuwah, who spoke to Yahuwah the words of this song in the day Yahuwah delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Shaul. He said, I love you, O Yahuwah, my strength. Yahuwah is my rock and my stronghold and my deliverer. My all is my rock. I take refuge in him. 
my shield and the horn of my deliverance, my high tower. I call upon Yahuwah, the one to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me, and the floods of Belial made me afraid. The cords of the grave were all around me. The snares of death were before me. In my distress, I called upon Yahuwah, and to my allure I cried. He heard my voice from his hekal, and my cry went before him into his ears. And the earth shook and trembled. Even the foundations of the mountains were troubled. And they shook, because he was wroth. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and consuming fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. And he bowed to Shamayim and came down. And dense cloud was under his feet. And he rolled upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering. Around him his booth. Darkness of waters. Thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him. His thick clouds passed. Hail and coals of fire. And Yahuwah thundered in the Shamayim. And the Most High sent forth his voice, hail and coals of fire. And he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and much lightning, and confused them. And the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy. And from those hating me, for they were stronger than I. They confronted me in the day of my calamity. But Yahuwah was my support. And he brought me out into a large place. He delivered me, for he delighted in me. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he repaid me. For I have guarded the ways of Yahuwah, and have not acted wickedly against my allure. For all his right rulings are before me, and I did not turn from his laws, and I am perfect before him, and I guard myself from my wickedness. And Yahuwah repays me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands before his eyes. With the kind, you show yourself kind. With the perfect one, you show yourself perfect. With the clean, you show yourself clean. And with the wicked, you show yourself twisted. For you save the afflicted people, but bring down those whose eyes are haughty. For you yourself light my lamp. Yahuwah, my allure, makes my darkness light. For with you I run against a band, and with my allure I leap over a wall. The all, his way is perfect. The word of Yahuwah is proven. He is a shield to all who take refuge in him. For who is allure besides Yahuwah? And who is a rock, except our allure? It is all who girds me with strength. It makes my way perfect, making my feet like the feet of a deer. And puts me on my high places, teaching my hands for battle, so that my arms shall bend a bow of bronze. And you give me the shield of your deliverance. And your right hand supports me, and your lowliness makes me great. You enlarge my step under me. And my feet shall not slip. I pursue my enemies and overtake them. And do not turn back till they are destroyed. I crush them and they are unable to rise. They fall under my feet. And you gird me with strength for battle. Cause my adversaries to bow under me. And you have made my enemies turn their backs. As for those hating me, I cut them off. They cry, but no one is there to save. To Yahuwah. But he answers them not, and I beat them as dust before the wind. I emptied them out like dirt in the streets. You deliver me from the strivings of the people. You put me at the head of the nations. If people I have not known serve me, as soon as they hear me, they obey me. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their strongholds. Yahuwah lives, and Baruch is my rock. And exalted is the allure of my deliverance, the all who avenges me, and he humbles the peoples under me. My deliverer from my enemies, you lift me up above those who rise against me, 
you deliver me from a man of violence. Therefore, I give thanks to you, O Yahuwah, among nations, and I sing praise to your name, making great the deliverance of his sovereign and showing kindness to his anointed, to Dawid and his seed forever. To the chief singer, a psalm of Dawid. The Shamaim are proclaiming the esteem of all, and the expanse is declaring the work of his hand. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, and there are no words. Their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he put up a tent for the sun, and it is like a bridegroom coming out of his room. It rejoices like a strong man to run the path. Its rising is from one end of the Shamayim, and its circuit to the other end, and not is hidden from its heat. The Torah of Yahuwah is perfect, bringing back the being. The witness of Yahuwah is trustworthy, making wise and simple. The orders of Yahuwah are straight, rejoice in the heart. The command of Yahuwah is clear, enlightening the eyes. The reverence of Yahuwah is clean, standing forever. The right rulings of Yahuwah are true. They are righteous altogether. More desirable than gold, than much fine gold, and sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. Also, your servant is warned by them. In guarding them, there is great reward. Who discerns mistakes? Declare me innocent from those that are secret. Also, keep your servant back from presumptuous ones. Do not let them rule over me. Then shall I be perfect and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing before you, O Yahuwah, my rock and my redeemer. To the chief singer, the psalm of Dawid. Yahuwah answers you in a day of distress. The name of the Allure of Yaakov exalts you. He sends you help from the Kodesh place and upholds you from Sion. He remembers all your offerings and accepts your burnt offering. Selah. He gives you according to your heart and fills all your plans. We sing of your deliverance and in the name of our Allure we raise up a banner. Yahuwah fills all your requests. Now I know that Yahuwah shall save his anointed. He answers him from his code at Shamayim with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we remember the name of Yahuwah, our Lord. They, they have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and are established. Save, Yahuwah. Let the sovereign answer us in the day we call. To the chief singer, the psalm of Dawid. The king rejoices in your strength, O Yahuwah, and how greatly he exalts in your deliverance. You have given him the desire of his heart, and you have not withheld the request of his lips, Selah. For you put before him the barricade of goodness. You put a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked life from you and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. Through your deliverance, his esteem is great. You have laid excellency and splendor on him. For you have made him most baruch forever. You have made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king is trusting in Yahuwah. And through the kindness of the Most High, he is not moved. Your hand reaches all your enemies. Your right hand reaches those who hate you. You made them as a furnace of fire in the time of your presence. Yahuwah swallows them up in his wrath, and fire consumes them. You destroy their fruit from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men. But they held out evil against you. They devised a plot. They do not prevail, but you make them turn their back. When you aim with your bowstring toward their faces, be exalted, O Yahuwah, in your strength. We sing and we praise your might.
to the chief singer on Dole of the Morning, a song of Dawid. My all, my all, why have you forsaken me? Far from saving me, in the words of my groaning. Oh, my Lord, I call by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are Kodesh, enthroned on the praises of Yasharal. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried to you, and were delivered. They trusted in you, and were not ashamed. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproaching men, and despised by the people. All those who see me mock me. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head. He trusted in Yahweh. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, seeing he has delighted in him. For you are the one who took me out of the womb, made me secure on my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from birth. From my mother's womb you have been my all. Do not be far from me, for the stress is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong ones of Bashan have encircled me. They have opened their mouths against me. As a raging and roaring lion, I have been poured out like water and all my bones have been spread apart. My heart has become like wax. It has melted in the midst of my inward parts. My strength is dry like a potsherd, and my tongue is cleaving to my jaws, and to the dust of death you are appointing me. For dogs have surrounded me, a crowd of evil ones have encircled me, piercing my hands and my feet. I count all my bones. They look, they stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and for my raiment they cast lots. But you, O oh Yahuwah, do not be far off. O oh my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver my life from the sword, my only one from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion, and from the horns of the wild beasts. You have answered me. I made known your name to my brothers. In the midst of the assembly I praise you. You who revere Yahuwah, praise him. All you see the Yaakov, esteem him. And revere him, all you see the Yasharal. For he has not despised, nor hated the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. From you is my praise in the great assembly. I pay my vows before those who revere him. The meek ones eat and are satisfied. Let those who seek him, hallelujah, let your heart live forever. Let all the ends of the earth remember and turn to Yahuwah, and all clans of the nations bow themselves before you. For the rain belongs to Yahuwah, and he is ruling over the nations. All the fat ones of the earth shall eat and bow themselves. All who go down to the dust bow before him. Even he who did not keep alive his own life. A seed shall serve him. It is declared of Yahuwah to a generation. They shall come and declare his righteousness to a people to be born, for he shall do it. The Psalm of Dawid Yahuwah is my shepherd. I do not lack. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He turns back my being. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread before me a table in the face of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of Yahuwah to the length of days. The Psalm of Dawid The earth belongs to Yahuwah and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas, and upon the waters he establishes it. Who goes up into the mountain of Yahuwah? And who stands in his coat as place? He who has innocent hands and a clean heart, 
who did not bring his life to naught and did not swear deceivingly. He receives a baraka from Yahuwah and righteousness from the allure of his deliverance. This is the generation of those who seek him. Yaakob, who seeks your face. Selah. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and let the sovereign of esteem come in. Who is this sovereign of esteem? Yahuwah, strong and mighty. Yahuwah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift up, you everlasting doors, and let the sovereign of esteem come in. Who is this sovereign of esteem? Yahuwah, a host. He is the sovereign of esteem. Selah. Of Dawid. To you, O Yahuwah, I lift up my being. O my Allah, in you I put my trust. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those who are treacherous without cause be ashamed. Show me your ways, O Yahuwah. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the allure of my deliverance. On you I wait all the day. Remember, O Yahuwah, your compassion and your kindness is. For they are from everlasting. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my transgressions. According to your kindness, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Yahuwah. Good and straight is Yahuwah. Therefore he teaches sinners in the way. He guides the meek ones in right ruling, and he teaches the meek ones his way. All the paths of Yahuwah are kindness and truth to those who guard his covenant and his witnesses. For your name's sake, O Yahuwah, you shall pardon my wickedness, though it is great. Who, then, is the man that reveres Yahuwah? He teaches him in the way he should choose. His life dwells in good, and his seed inherits the earth. The secret of Yahuwah is with those who revere him, and he makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever towards Yahuwah, for he brings my feet out of the net. Turn your face to me and show me favor, for I am lonely and afflicted. The distresses of my heart have been large. Oh, bring me out of my distresses. Look on my affliction and my toil, and lift all my sins. See how many my enemies have become, and they hate me with a violent hatred. Oh, guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I have taken refuge in you. Let integrity and straightness guard me, for I have waited for you. Redeem Yasharal, O Lord, out of all his distresses. Of Dawid Rule me rightly, O Yahuwah, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in Yahuwah. Without wavering. Examine me, O Yahuwah, and prove me. Try my kidneys and my heart, for your kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with men of falsehood, nor do I enter with pretenders. I have hated the assembly of evildoers, and I do not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence, and I walk around your altar, O Yahuwah, to raise a voice of thanksgiving. And to declare all your wonders. Yahuwah, I have loved the abode of your house. In a place where your esteem dwells. Do not gather my being together with sinners. Nor my life with bloodthirsty men. In whose hands is a plot. And their right hand is filled with bribes. But as for me. I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and show me favor. My foot shall stand on a level place. In the assemblies I barak Yahuwah. Of Dawid. Yahuwah is my light and my deliverance. Whom should I fear? Yahuwah is the refuge of my life. Whom should I dread? When evildoers come against me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamps against me, my heart does not fear. Though battle comes up against me, even then I will be trusting. 
One I asked of Yahuwah, this I seek, to dwell in the house of Yahuwah all the days of my life, to see the pleasantness of Yahuwah, and to inquire in his Hekal. For in the day of evil he hides me in his booth, in the covering of his tent he hides me, on a rock he raises me up, and now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I offer in his tent with offerings of shouts, I sing, I sing praises to Yahuwah. Hear, O Yahuwah, when I cry with my voice, and show me favor, and answer me. To my heart you have said, Seek my face. Your face, Yahuwah, I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in displeasure. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O Allah of my deliverance. When my father and my mother have forsaken me, then Yahuwah takes me in. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not give me over to the desire of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me and they breathe out violence to me. What if I had not believed to see the goodness of Yahuwah in the land of the living? Wait on Yahuwah. Be strong and let him strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on Yahuwah. Of Dawid. I cry to you, O Yahuwah, my rock. Do not be deaf to me, for if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayers when I cry to you. When I lift up my hands towards your Kodesh speaking place. Do not draw me away with the wicked and with the workers of wickedness who speak peace to their neighbors. But evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their deeds and according to the evil of their practices. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Bring back to them what they deserve. Because they do not heed the works of Yahuwah nor the works of his hands. He throws them down and does not build them up. Baruch be Yahuwah, because he has heard the voice of my prayers. Yahuwah is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I have been helped. Therefore, my heart exalts and with my song, I thank him. Yahuwah is the strength of his people and he is the stronghold of deliverance of his anointed. Save your people and Barak your inheritance and be their shepherd, and bear them up forever. A Psalm of Dawid Ascribe to Yahuwah, O you sons of the mighty. Ascribe to Yahuwah esteem and strength. Ascribe to Yahuwah the esteem of his name. Bow yourselves to Yahuwah in the splendor of Kodeshah. The voice of Yahuwah is over the waters. The all of esteem thunders. Yahuwah is over many waters. The voice of Yahuwah is with power. The voice of Yahuwah is with greatness. The voice of Yahuwah is breaking the setters. Yahuwah is breaking the setters of Lebanon in pieces. And he makes them skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of Yahuwah cuts through the flames of fire. The voice of Yahuwah shakes the wilderness. Yahuwah shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Yahuwah makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his Hekal, everyone says, Esteem! Yahuwah sat enthroned at the flood, and Yahuwah sits as sovereign forever. Yahuwah gives strength to his people. Yahuwah barak his people with peace. A song, a song, the dedication of the house of Dawid. I exalt you, O Yahuwah, for you have drawn me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. Yahuwah, my Allah, I have cried to you and you have healed me. Yahuwah, you brought me up from the grave. You have kept me alive from going down into the pit. 
Sing praise to you who you kind ones of his and get thanks at the remembrance of his set apartness. For his displeasure is for a moment. His delight is for life. Weeping might last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. As for me, I had said in my ease, never would I be shaken. Yahuwah, in your good pleasure, you had made my mountain a stand strong. You hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried out to you, O Yahuwah, and to Yahuwah I prayed. What gain is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? What dust praise you? Would it declare your truth? Hear, O Yahuwah, and show me favor. Yahuwah, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have torn off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, so that esteem might praise you and not be silent. O Yahuwah, my allure, I thank you forever. To the chief singer, Asama Dawid. In you, O Yahuwah, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be a rock of refuge to me. A house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Bring me out of the net which they have hidden for me. For you are my stronghold. Into your hand I commit my ruach. You have redeemed me, O Yahuwah, all the truth. I have hated those who observe lying vanities, but I trust in Yahuwah. I exult and rejoice in your kindness, for you have seen my affliction. You have known the distresses of my life. You have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have stood my feet in a large place. Show me favor, O Yahuwah, for I am in distress. My eye, my being, and my body have become old with grief. For my life is consumed in sorrow, and my years in sighing. My strength fails because of my wickedness, and my bones have become old. I am a reproach among all my adversaries, but most of all among my neighbors, and a dread to my friends. Those who see me outside flee from me. I have been forgotten from the heart, like someone dead. I have been like a missing vessel, for I hear the evil report of many. Fear is from all around. When they take counsel together against me, they plot to take away my life. But I, I have put my trust in you, O Yahuwah. I have said, you are my allure. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who pursue me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Do not let me be ashamed, O Yahuwah. For I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silenced in the grave. Let lips of falsehood be stilled, which speak recklessly against the righteous. With pride and scorn, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those revering you, which you have prepared for those taking refuge in you, in the sight of the sons of men. In the secrecy of your presence, you shall hide them from the plots of man. You shelter them in a booth from the strife of tongues. Baruch be Yahuwah, for he has made marvelous his kindness to me in a strong city. And I, I have said in my haste, I'm cut off from before your eyes. Yet you heard the voice of my prayers when I cried out to you. Love Yahuwah, all you his kind ones. For Yahuwah guards the trustworthy ones and exceedingly repays the doer of pride. Be strong. And let him strengthen your heart, all you who are waiting for Yahuwah. A poem of Dawid. Baruch is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Baruch is the man to whom Yahuwah imputes no wickedness, and in whose ruach there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones became old. Through my groaning all the day. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My sap was turned into the drops of summer. Salah. 
I acknowledge my sin to you, and my wickedness I did not hide. I have said, I confess my transgression to Yahuwah, and you forgave the wickedness of my sin. Salah. Therefore, let every kind one pray to you, while you might be found. Even in a flood of great waters, they would not reach him. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from distress. You surround me with songs of deliverance. Salah. Let me instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Let me counsel. My eye be on you. Do not be like the horse, like the mule, with no understanding, with bit and brittle, else they do not come near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked. But as for the one trusting in Yahuwah, kindness surrounds him. Be glad in Yahuwah and exult, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Shout for joy in Yahuwah, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the straight. Praise Yahuwah with the leer. Sing to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play sweetly with a shout of joy. For the word of Yahuwah is straight, and all his works are in truth. Love and righteousness and right ruling. The earth is filled with the kindness of Yahuwah. By the word of Yahuwah, the Shamayim were made, and all their hopes by the breath of his mouth, gathering the waters of the sea together as a heap. Laying up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth revere Yahuwah. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood fast. Yahuwah brings the counsel of the nations to naught. He thwarts the plans of the peoples. The counsel of Yahuwah stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Baruch is the nation whose Alua is Yahuwah. The people whom he has chosen as his own inheritance. Yahuwah has looked from the Shamaim. He has seen all the sons of men. He looked from his dwelling place on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all. He who understands all their works. The king is not saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain means of safety. Neither does it rescue any by its great power. See, the eye of Yahuwah is on those revering him, on those waiting for his kindness, to deliver their being from death, and to keep them alive during scarcity of food. Our being has longed for Yahuwah. Our help and our shield is he. For our heart rejoices in him. For we have put our trust in his Kodesh name. Let your kindness, O Yahuwah, be upon us even as we wait for you. Of Dawid, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he departed. I barak Yahuwah at all times. His praise is continually in my mouth. My being shall boast in Yahuwah. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, make Yahuwah great with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahuwah, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor one cried out, and Yahuwah heard him, and saved him out of all his distresses. The messenger of Yahuwah encamps all around those who revere him, and rescues them. Oh, taste and see that Yahuwah is good. Baruch is the man that takes refuge in him. Revere Yahuwah, you his Kodoshim, for there is no lack to them who revere him. Young lions have lacked and been hungry, but those who seek Yahuwah lack not any goodness. Come, you children, listen to me. Let me teach you the reverence of Yahuwah. Who is the man who desires life, who loves many days, in order to see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of Yahuwah are on the righteous, 
and his ears onto their cry. The face of you who is against evildoers to cut off their remembrance from the earth. Crying out and you who are heard and delivered them out of all their distresses. Yahuwah is near to the brokenhearted, and save those whose Ruach is crushed. Many are the evils of the righteous, but Yahuwah delivers him out of them all. He is guarding all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil slays the wicked, and those who hate the righteous are guilty. Yahuwah redeems the lives of his servants, and none of those taking refuge in him are guilty. Of thy weed. O Yahuwah, strive with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and armor, and rise for my help, and draw out spear and lance to meet those who pursue me. Say to my life, I am your deliverance. Let those be ashamed and blush who seek my life. Let those be turned back into bash who plot evil to me. Let them be as chaff before the wind, with a Molech of Yahuwah driving on. Let their way be dark and slippery, with a Molech of Yahuwah pursuing them. For without cause they hid their net for me, without cause they dug a pit for my life. Let ruin come upon him unawares, and let his net that he hid catch himself. Let him fall in it, into ruin, but let my own being exalt in Yahuwah. Let it rejoice in his deliverance. Let all my bones say, Yahuwah, who is like you, delivering the poor from one stronger than he, and the poor and the needy from him who robs him. Malicious witnesses rise up. They ask me that which I knew not. They reward me evil for good, for even my life. But I, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth. I humble my being with fastings. And my prayer will return to my own bosom. I walked about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down mourning as one mourning for a mother. But they rejoiced at my stumbling and gathered together. The smiters gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore in pieces without ceasing, with unclean ones, mockers at feasts, gnashing at me with their teeth. Yahuwah, how long would you look on? Rescue my being from their destructions. My only one from the lions. I give you thanks in the great assembly. I praise you among a mighty people. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Or let those who hate me without cause wink their eyes. For they do not speak peace. But they devise words of deceit. Against the peaceable ones of the land. And they open their mouth wide against me. They said. Aha. Aha. Our eyes have seen it. This you have seen O Yahuwah. Do not be silent. O oh, Yahuwah, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself in the way to my right ruling, to my cause, my allure and master. Rule me rightly, O oh, Yahuwah, my allure, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Aha, our desire. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let those who are rejoicing at my evil be ashamed and abashed altogether. Let those who are exalting themselves over me be clad in shame and humiliation. Let those who delight in my righteous cause shout for joy and be glad. And let them always say, Let Yahuwah be made great, who is desiring the peace of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness, your praise all day long. To the chief singer, the Dawid, servant of Yahuwah. Transgression speaks to the wicked within his heart. Reverence of Elua is not before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes to find his wickedness to be hated. The words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise, to do good. He plots wickedness on his bed. He places himself in a way that is not good. He does not despise evil. O oh, Yahuwah, your kindness is in the Shamayim, and your trustworthiness reaches to the clouds. 
Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your right rulings are a great deep. O oh, Yahuwah, you save man and beast. How precious is your kindness, O oh, Lu! And the sons of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They are filled from the fatness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Draw out your kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of wickedness have fallen. They have been overthrown and have been unable to rise. Of Dawid. Do not fret because of evildoers. Do not be envious of the workers of unrighteousness, for they soon wither like grass and fade like green plants. Trust in Yahuwah and do good. Dwell in the earth and feed on steadfastness and delight yourself in Yahuwah and let him give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to Yahuwah and trust in him and he does it and he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your right ruling is midday. Rest in Yahuwah and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man doing wicked devices. Abstain from displeasure and forsake wrath, neither fret only to do evil. For evildoers are cut off, but those who wait on Yahuwah, they shall inherit the earth. Yet a little while and the wicked one is no more, and you shall look on his place, but it is not. But the meek one shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in plenty of peace. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. Yahuwah laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cause the poor and needy to fall, to slay those who walk straightly. Their sword enters into their own hearts, and their bows are broken. Better is the little of the righteous one than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked are broken, but Yahuwah sustains the righteous. Yahuwah knows the days of the perfect, and their inheritance is forever. They are not ashamed in the time of evil, and in the days of scarcity of food they are satisfied. But the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of Yahuwah, like the splendor of the meadows, they vanish. Like smoke, they vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous one shows favor and gives. For his Baruch ones inherit the earth, but those cursed by him are cut off. The steps of a man are ordered by Yahuwah, and he delights in his way. Though he falls, he is not cast down, for Yahuwah is supporting his hand. I have been young, and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, or his seed begging bread. All day long he is showing favor and lending, and his seed is for a baraka. Turn away from evil, and do good, and dwell forever. For Yahuwah loves right ruling, and does not forsake his kind ones. They shall be guarded forever. But the seed of the wicked is cut off. The righteous shall inherit the earth, and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of right ruling. The Torah of his allure is in his heart. His steps do not slide. The wicked is watching for the righteous, and is seeking to slay him. Yahuwah does not leave him in his hand, or let him be declared wicked when he is judged. Wait on Yahuwah and guard his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away, and see, he was not. And I sought him, but he was not found. Watch the perfect and observe the straight, for the latter end of each is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The latter end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the deliverance of the righteous is from Yahuwah, their strength in time of distress. And Yahuwah helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they took refuge in him.
a psalm of Dawid to bring remembrance. O oh, Yahuwah, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chastise me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hand comes down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your rage, nor peace in my bones because of my sin. For my wickednesses have passed over my head like a heavy burden, too heavy for me. My wounds stink, festering because of my folly. I have been bent down. I have been bowed down very much. All day long I've gone mourning, for my loins have become filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I have become weak and greatly crushed. I howled from the groaning of my heart. Yahuwah, all my desires before you, and my sighing it has not been hidden from you. My heart is throbbing. My strength has forsaken me. And the light of my eyes also is not with me. My loved ones and my friends stand back from my plague. And my neighbors stand far away. And those seeking my life lay a snare. And those seeking my evil have spoken of destruction. And utter deceit all day long. But I, as one deaf, do not hear. And as a dumb one who does not open his mouth, I am like a man who does not hear and who has no rebukes in his mouth. For on you, O Yahuwah, I have waited. You do answer, O Yahuwah, my allure. For I have said, otherwise they will rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they would exalt themselves over me. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is always with me. For I confess my wickedness, I am sorry over my sin. But my enemies are alive, they have become strong, and those hating me falsely are many, and those who repay evil for good, they oppose me, because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Yahuwah, O my Lord, be not far from me, hasten to help me, O Yahuwah, my deliverance. To the chief singer, to Yada Thun, Asamadah Weed. I have said, Let me guard my ways against sinning with my tongue. Let me guard my mouth with a muzzle while the wicked is before me. I became dumb, keeping still. I was silent from good, and my pain was stirred. My heart was hot within me. While I was meditating, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Yahuwah, let me know my end and the measure of my days. What is it? Let me know how short-lived I am. See, you have made my days as hand breaths, and my lifetime is as not before you. Only all men standing are all breath. Salah. As but a shadow each one walks, they busy themselves only in vain. He heaps up but knows not who gathers them. And now, Yahuwah, what do I wait for? My expectancy is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach to the foolish. I was dumb. I did not open my mouth, because it was you who did it. Turn aside your stroke from me. I am overcome by the blow of your hand. When you chastise man for wickedness with reproofs, you consume what he loves like a moth. All men are but a breath. Salah. Hear my prayer, O Yahuwah, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner, as all my fathers were. Look away from me, that I might brighten up, before I go away and am no more. To the chief singer. The Psalm of Dawid. I waited for Yahuwah, and he inclined to me, and heard my cry, and he drew me out of the pits of destruction, out of the muddy clay, and he put my feet upon the rock. He is establishing my steps. Then he put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our Lord. Many see and revere, and trust in Yahuwah. Baruch is that man who has made Yahuwah his trust, and has not turned to the proud, and those turning aside to falsehood. O oh, Yahuwah, my Allure, 
Many are the wonders which you have done and your purposes toward us. There is no one to compare with you. I declare and speak. There are too many to be numbered. Slaughtering and meal offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not ask for. Then I said, See, I have come. In the scroll of the book it is prescribed for me. I have delighted to do your pleasure, O my Lu, and your Torah is within my inward parts. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. See, I do not restrain my lips, O Yahoo, you know. I did not conceal your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your trustworthiness and your deliverance. I did not hide your kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Yahuwah. Let your kindness and your truth always watch over me. For evils without number have surrounded me. My wickednesses have overtaken me, and I have been unable to see. They became more than the hairs of my head, and my heart has failed me. Be pleased, O Yahuwah, to deliver me. O Yahuwah, hasten to help me. Let those who seek to destroy my life be ashamed and abashed altogether. Let those who are desiring my evil be driven back and put to shame. Let those who say to me, Aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your deliverance always say, Yahuwah be exalted. But I am poor and needy. Let Yahuwah think upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh, my allure, do not delay. To the chief singer, a psalm of Dawid. Baruch is he who considers the poor. Yahuwah delivers him in the day of evil. Yahuwah guards him and keeps him alive. He is Baruch on the earth. And you do not hand him over to the desire of his enemies. Yahuwah sustains him on his sickbed. In his weakness on his bed you bring a change. As for me, I said, O oh, Yahuwah, show me favor. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When he dies, his name shall perish. And when one comes to visit, he speaks falsely. His heart gathers wickedness to itself. He goes out. He speaks of it. All who hate me whisper together against me. They plot evil to me. The matter of Belial is poured out on him, that when he lies down, he would not rise again. Even my own friend is whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, Yahuwah, show me favor and raise me up, and let me repay them. By this I know that you delight in me, because my enemy does not shout for joy over me. And I, you uphold me in my integrity, and place me before your face forever. Baruch be Yahuwah, Allure of Yasharal, from everlasting to everlasting. So be it, and so shall it be. To the chief singer, a poem for the sons of Korah. As a deer longs for the water streams, so my being longs for you. Oh, Lou, my being thirstful, Lou, for the living all. When shall I enter in to appear before Lou? My tears have been my food day and night. Why they say to me all day, where's your Lou? These I remember and pour out my being within me. For I used to pass along with the throng. I went with them to the house of a Lou with the voice of joy and praise. A multitude celebrating the feast. Why are you depressed, O my being, and you restless within me? Wait for a lure, for I shall yet thank him, the deliverance of his face. O my lure, my being is depressed within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of the Yardan, and from the heights of Hermon, from Mount Misar. 
Deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers pass over me. By day, Yahuwah commands his kindness, and by night, his song is with me. A prayer to the all of my life. I say to all, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? My enemies have approached me like a crushing of my bones. Why they say to me all day long, where's your lure? Why are you depressed on my being and why are you restless within me? Wait for a lure for I shall yet thank him, the deliverance of my face and my lure. Rule me rightly, O Lou, and plead my cause against a nation without kindness. Oh, deliver me from a man of deceit and unrighteousness. For you are the allure of my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your Kodesh mountain and to your dwelling places. That I might come to the altar of Elul, to all the joy of my delight, and praise you with the leer. O Elul, my Elul, why are you depressed, O my being, and why are you restless within me? Wait for Elul, for I shall yet thank him, the deliverance of my face and my Elul. To the chief singer, for the sons of Korah, a poem. O oh, Elul, we have heard with our ears, our fathers have related to us, the work you did in their days, in the days of old. You drove out the nations with your hand, but them you planted. You afflicted peoples and sent them out, for not by their own sword do they possess the land, neither did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand and your arm and the light of your face, because you delighted in them. You yourself are my sovereign, O Elul. Command deliverances for Yaakov. Through you we push our enemies. Through your name we tread down those who rise up against us. For I do not trust in my bow, and my sword does not save me. For you saved us from our enemies, and have put to shame those who hated us. In the Lord we shall boast all day long, and praise your name forever, Salah. Yet you have rejected us and put us to shame, and you do not go with our armies. You make us turn back from the adversary, and those who hate us have plundered us. You give us as sheep to be eaten, and you have scattered us among the Gentiles. You sell your people for no value, and have put no high price on them. You make us a reproach to our neighbors. A scorn and a mockery to those round about us. You make us a proverb among the nations, a shaking of the head among the peoples. My reproach is always before me, and the shame of my face has covered me, because of the voice of the slanderer and blasphemer, because of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, neither have we been false to your covenant. Our hearts has not turned back. Now that has our steps swerved from your way. Yet you have crushed us in the place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our lure or stretched out our hands to a foreign mighty one, will the lure not search this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake, we are killed all day long, wrecking as sheep for the slaughter. Awake! Why do you sleep, O oh, Yahoo? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face, ignoring our affliction and our oppression? For our being is bowed down to the dust. Our body clings to the earth. Arise, be our help, and redeem us for your kindness sake. To the chief singer, on trumpets, for the sons of Korah, a poetic love song. My heart is overflowing with a good word. I address my works to the sovereign. My tongue is the pen of a speedy writer. You are more handsome than the sons of men. 
Favor has been poured upon your lips. Therefore, Allah has barak you forever. Gird your sword upon thigh, O mighty one. Your excellency and your splendor. And ride prosperously in your splendor. On the matter of truth and humility, righteousness. And let your right hand make known reverence. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the sovereign's enemies. Peoples fall under you. Your throne, O Lua, is forever and ever. The scepter of your reign is a scepter of straightness. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, Lua, your Lua has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. All your garments are mirror and aloes, casilla, out of the palaces of ivory. Strained instruments have made you glad. Daughters of kings are among your precious ones. At your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophir. Listen, O daughter, and see, and incline your ear, and forget your own people and your father's house, and let the sovereign delight in your loveliness, because he is your master. Bow yourself to him, and the daughter is sore with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. The daughter of the sovereign is all esteemed within. Her dress is embroidered with gold. She is brought to the sovereign in embroidered work. Maidens, her companions following her, are brought to you. They are brought with gladness and rejoicing. They enter the sovereign's palace. Instead of your fathers are your sons, whom you appoint princes in all the earth. I'll cause your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the people praise you forever and ever. To the chief singer, for the sons of Korah, a song with sopranos. Alua is our refuge and strength, a help in distress, soon found. Therefore, we do not fear. Though the earth reels and mountains topple in the heart of the seas. Let his waters rage, foam. Let mountains shake with his swelling. Salah. A river whose streams may glad the city of Alua, the Kodesh dwelling of the Most High. Alua is in her midst. She does not topple. Alua helps her when morning turns. The Gentile shall rage. Rain shall topple. He shall give forth his voice. The earth melts. Yahuwah, a host, is with us. The Alua of Yaakob is our refuge. Salah. Come, see the works of Yahuwah, the ruins he has wrought on the earth, causing fighting to cease onto the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariot with fire. Be still and know that I am Alua. I am exalted among nations. I am exalted in the earth. Yahuwah of hosts is with us. The Allure of Yaakob is our refuge. Salah. To the chief singer, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to Allure with a voice of singing. For Yahuwah, Most High, is awesome, a great sovereign over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the excellence of Yaakob whom he loves. Salah. Allure shall go up with a shout. Yahuwah with the sound of a ram's horn. Sing praises to Allure. Sing praises. Sing praises to our sovereign. Sing praises. For Alua is sovereign over all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. Alua shall reign over the nations. Alua shall sit on his Kodesh throne. Nobles of people shall be gathered together. The people of the Alua of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to Alua. He shall be greatly exalted. A song, a poem, for the sons of Korah. Great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised, 
in the city of our Lord, his coat as mountain, pretty on high, the joy of all the earth, is Mount Sion on the sides of the north, the city of the great sovereign. Allure is in her castles. He is known as her refuge. For look, the kings met, they passed by together. They saw, so they marveled. They were alarmed, they hastened away. Trembling took hold of them there, pain as of a woman in labor. With an east wind you break the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of Yahuwah a host. In the city of our Allur, Allur establishes her forever, Salah. We have thought, O Allur, of your kindness, in the midst of your Hekal. According to your name, O Allur, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Sion rejoice, that the daughters of Yehuda exult, because of your right rulings. Walk about Sion and go all around her. Count her towers. Apply your heart to her ramparts. Go through her castles so that you report it to the coming generation. For this Allure is our Allure forever and ever. He himself leads us even to death. To the Chief Singer, a song for the Sons of Korah. Here it is, all you peoples. Give ear, all you inhabitants of the world, both sons of Adam and sons of man, rich and poor together. My mouth speaks wisdom, and the meditation of my heart brings understanding. I incline my ear to a parable. I expound my riddle on delir. Why should I fear in the days of evil, when the wickedness of my supplanter surrounds me? Those who are trusting in their riches, and who are boasting in their great wealth? A brother does not redeem anyone at all, neither give to Allure a ransom for him. For the redemption of their lives is costly, it shall cease forever, that he should still live forever, not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, the foolish and the ignorant both perish, and shall leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their houses forever, the dwelling places to all generations. They call lands after their own names. But man does not remain in esteem. He is like the beast that perish. This way of theirs is folly to them. Yet their followers are pleased with their words. Salah. Like sheep they shall be laid in the grave. Death shall shepherd them. And the upright rule over them in the morning. And their form is consumed in the grave. Far from their dwelling. But the Lord redeems my being from the power of the grave, for he receives me. Salah. Do not be afraid when the man becomes rich, when the wealth of his house increases. For when he dies, he takes none of it. His wealth does not go down after him. Though while he lived, he barak himself. And though they praise you when you do well for yourself, he has to go to the generation of his fathers. They never see the light. Man, who is rich, yet does not understand, shall be like the beasts. They shall perish. A Psalm of Asaph All, Alu, Yahuwah shall speak, and he shall call the earth. From the rising of the sun to its going down, from Sion, the perfection of loveliness, Allure shall shine forth. Our Allure comes, and is not silent, and fire consumes before him, and it shall be very stormy all around him. He calls to the Shamayim from above, and to the earth to rightly rule his people. Gather my kind ones together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by slaughter. Then the Shamaim declared his righteousness, for Allure himself is judge, Salah. Hear, O my people, and I speak, O Yashara, and I witness against you. I am Allure, your Allure. 
I do not reprove you for your slaughters, and your burnt offerings are continually before me. I do not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your pens, for every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and all moving in my field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not speak to you, for the world is mine, and all that fills it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer thanksgiving to a Lord, and pray your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of distress. Let me rescue you, and you esteem me. But to the wicked, the Lord said, What right have you to recite my laws, or take my covenant in your mouth, while you hated instruction and cast my words behind you? When you saw a thief, you were pleased with him, and you took part with adulterers. You let your mouth loose to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit, speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's bond. You have done this, and I kept silent. You have thought that I was altogether like you. I rebuke you, and put you in order before your eyes. Understand this, please, you who forget a lure. Lest I tear you in pieces, with no one to deliver. Whoever offers praise esteems me, and to him who prepares a way, I show the deliverance of a Lord. To the chief singer, a psalm of Dawid, when Nathan the Nabi came to him, when he brought near Bathsheba. Show me favor, O Lord, according to your kindness, according to the greatness of your compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Watch me completely from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done evil in your eyes that you might be proven right in your words. Be clear when you judge. See, I was brought forth in wickedness, and in sin my mother conceived me. See, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts you made me know wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I am clean. Wash me, and I am whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my wickednesses. Created me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a steadfast ruach within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your ruach hakodesh from me. Restore to me the joy of your deliverance, and uphold me, noble ruach. Let me teach transgressors your ways, so that sinners turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O Lord, a Lord of my deliverance. Let my tongue sing aloud of your righteousness. O oh, Yahu, open my lips, and that my mouth declare your praise. For you do not desire slaughtering, or I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The slaughterings of Elul are a broken ruach, a heart broken and crushed. O oh, Elul, these you do not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Sion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in slaughterings of righteousness, in burnt offerings and complete burnt offering. Then young bulls will be offered on your altar. To the chief singer, a poem of Dawid. When Doag the Edomite came and told Shaul and said, Dawid went to the house of Ahimelech. Why do you boast in evil, O oh mighty man? The kindness of all is all day long. Your tongue devises destruction. Like a sharp razor, work in deceit. You loved evil more than good, lying more than speaking righteousness. Salah. You loved all devouring words, O oh tongue of deceit. 
Let all also break you down forever. Take you and pluck you out of your tent, and he shall uproot you from the land of the living. Salah. And let the righteous see and revere and laugh at him. See the man who did not make a lure his strength, but trusted in his many riches, being strong in his destruction. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of a lure. I have trusted in the kindness of a lure forever and ever. I thank you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your kind ones, I wait on your name for it is good. To the chief singer, on sickness, a psalm of Dawid. The fool has said in his heart, There is no Yahuwah. They have done corruptly, and they have done abominable unrighteousness. No one does good. Yahuwah looked down from the Shamaim on the children of men, to see if there is a wise one, seeking a lure. They have all turned aside. They have together become filthy. No one is doing good, not even one. Have the workers of wickedness no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and do not call on Yahuwah. There they are in great fear, where no fear was, for Yahuwah shall scatter the bones of him who encamps against you. You shall put them to shame, for Yahuwah has rejected them. Oh, that the deliverance of Yasharal would be given out of Sion. When Elua turns back the captivity of his people, let Yaakov rejoice. Let Yasharal be glad. To the chief singer on stringed instruments, a poem of Dawid. When the Zephites came and said to Shaul, does Dawid not hide himself with us? O oh, Lord, save me by your name, and rightly rule me by your might. Hear my prayer, O oh, Lord, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and cruel men have sought after my life. They have not put a lure before them, Salah. See, a lure is my helper. Yahuwah is with those who sustain my life. He repays evil to my enemies. Cut them off in your truth. Voluntarily I slaughter to you. I praise your name, O Yahuwah, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all distress, and my eye has looked upon my enemies. To the chief singer, on stringed instruments, a poem of Dawid. Give ear to my prayer, O Lord, and do not hide yourself from my plea. Give heed to me and answer me. I wander and moan in my complaint because of the noise of the enemy, because of the outcry of the wicked. For they bring down wickedness upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is pained within me, and the fears of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me. And shuddering covers me. And I said, who would give me wings like a dove? I will fly away and be at rest. See, I will wander far off. I will lodge in the wilderness. Salah. I would hasten my escape from the raging wind and storm. Confused, O Yahuwah, divide their tongues. For I saw violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on these walls. Wickedness and trouble are also in the midst of it. Covetings are in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not vanish from its streets. It is not an enemy who reproaches me that I could bear, nor one who hates me who is making himself great against me. Then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal, my companion and my friend, we took sweet counsel together. We walked to the house of Alua in the throng. Let death come upon them. Let them go down into the grave alive.
for evil is in their dwellings, in their midst. Ah, I call upon the Lord, and Yahuwah saves me. Evening and morning and at noon I complain and moan, and he hears my voice. He has redeemed my life in peace from the battle against me, for there were many against me. All, oh, even he who dwells from of old, hears and afflicts them. Salah. Those with whom there are no changes, those who do not revere a lure, he has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. His mouth was smoother than curds, yet in his heart is fighting. His words were softer than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden on Yahuwah and let him sustain you. He never allows the righteous to be shaken. For you, O Lord, bring them down to the pit of destruction. Men of blood and deceit do not reach half their days, but I, I trust in you. To the Chief Singer on Silence Dove from Afar a poem of Dawid when the Philistines took him in Gath. Show me favor, O Lord, for man will swallow me up. Fighting all day long, he oppresses me. My enemies will swallow me up all day long, for many are fighting against me, O Most High. In the day I am afraid, I trust in you. In the Lord, whose word I praise, in the Lord I have trusted. I do not fear. What could flesh do to me? All day long they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife. They hide. They watch my steps as they lie and wait for my life. Because of wickedness cast them out. Put down the peoples in displeasure. O oh, Lord. You have counted my wanderings. You put my tears into your picture. Are they not in your book? My enemies turn back in the day I call. This I know because the Lord is for me. In the Lord whose word I praise. In Yahuwah whose word I praise. In the Lord I have trusted. I do not fear. What could man do to me? On me, O Lord, are your vows. I render praises to you. For you have delivered my life from death. My feet from stumbling. That I might walk before a Lord. In the light of the living. To the chief singer, do not destroy. A poem of Dawid when he fled from Shaul in the cave. Show me favor, O oh Lord, show me favor. For in you my being is taking refuge. And in the shadow of your wings I take refuge. Until destruction passes by. I cry out to the most high allure, to all who does perfectly for me. He sends from the Shamaim and saves me. He reproaches the one who will swallow me up. Salah. Allure sends forth his kindness and his truth. My being is in the midst of lions. I lie burning. Sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue is a sharp sword. Be exalted, O Lua, above the Shamayim, that your esteem be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my footsteps. My being was bowed down. They have dug a pit before me. They fell into the midst of it. Salah. My heart is firm, O Lua. My heart is firm. I sing in praise. Awake, my esteem. Awake, harp and lyre. I'll wake the dawn. I praise you among the peoples, O Yahuwah. I sing to you among the nations. For your kindness is great up to the Shamayim, and your truth onto the clouds. Be exalted above the Shamayim, O Elul. Let your esteem be above all the earth. To the chief singer, do not destroy a poem of Dawid. Would you indeed speak righteousness in silence? 
Do you judge straightly, you sons of men? No, in heart you work unrighteousness. On earth you weigh out the violence of your hands. The wicked have been estranged from the womb. These who speak lies go astray from birth. Their poison is like the poison of a snake, like a deaf cobra that stops his ear, so as not to hear the voice of whisperers or a skilled caster of spells. O oh Lord, break their teeth in their mouth. Break out the fangs of the young lions, O oh Yahuwah. Let them melt. Let them vanish as water. Let him aim his arrows that they be cut down like a snail which melts away as it moves like a woman's stillbirth. Let them not see the sun. Before you fill your thorns or bramble, he sweeps them away alive in wrath. The righteous rejoices when he has seen the vengeance. He washes his feet in the blood of the wicked. And man says, truly, the righteous are rewarded. Truly, there is an allure judging in the earth. To the chief singer, do not destroy. A poem of Dawid, when Shaul sent, and they watched the house to kill him. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my Lord. Place me on high from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of wickedness and save me from men of blood. For look, they have lain in wait for my life. Mighty men assemble against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O oh, Yahuwah, for no wickedness. They run and prepare themselves. Awake to help me and see. And you, Yahuwah, Allure of hosts. Allure of Yasharal, awake to punish all the Gentiles, show no favor to any wicked traitors. Salah. They return at evening, they howl like a dog, and go around the city. See, they belch out with their mouth, sores are in their lips, for who is listening? But you, Yahuwah, laugh at them, you mock all the Gentiles. Oh, my strength, I wait for you. For Allure is my strong tower, my Allure of kindness. Allure goes before me. He lets me look upon my enemies. Do not slay them, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power and bring them down, O Yahuwah, our shield. The sin of their mouth is the words of their lips, and they are captured in their pride, and for the cursing and lying they utter. Bring to an end in wrath. Bring to an end that there be no more, and let them know that Allure is ruling in Yaakov to the ends of the earth. Salah. And that evening they return, they howl like a dog, and go around the city. They wander up and down for food, and whine if they are not satisfied. And I, I sing of your power, and in the morning I sing aloud of your kindness, for you have been my strong tower, in the refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, to you I sing praises, for Allure is my strong tower, my Allure of kindness. To the chief singer on Lilies of Witness, a poem of Dawid, to teach, when he fought with Aram Naharagim and with Aram Sobah, when Yoab returned and smote Edom in the Valley of Salt, 12,000. O oh, Lua, you have rejected us. You have broken us. You have been displeased. Turn back to us. You have made the earth tremble. You have broken it. Heal its breaches, for it is shaken. You have let your people see hardship. You have made us drink the wine of reeling. We have given a banner to those who revere you, that it might be lifted up, because of the truth, Salah. That those you love might be rescued, save with your right hand and answer me. Allure has spoken in the set of partners. I exalt, I portion out Shechem, and measure out the valley of Sukkot. 
Goliath is mine, and Manasseh is mine, and Ephraim is the defense of my head. Yehuda is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom I cast my suit. Shout loud, O Peleset, because of me. Who will bring me to the strong city? Who shall lead me to Edom? Have not you, O Lord, rejected us? And you do not go out, O Lord, with our armies. Give us help from distress, for the help of man is not. In the Lord we do mightily, and he treads down our adversaries. To the chief singer on stringed instruments of Dawid. Hear my cry, O Lord. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call unto you. When my heart is faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower in the face of the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge in the shelter of your wings. Salah. For you, O Lord, have heard my vows. You have given me the inheritance of those who revere your name. You add days to the days of the king, his years as many generations. Let him dwell forever before Lord. Prepare kindness and truth to preserve him. So I sing praise to your name forever when I pay my vows day by day. To the chief singer, to Yadathon, a psalm of Dawid. My being finds rest in the Lord alone. From him is my deliverance. He alone is my rock and my deliverance, my strong tower. I am not greatly shaken. How long would you assail a man? You crush him, all of you, like a leaning wall, a tottering fence. They plotted to topple him from his high position. They delight in lies. They barack with their mouth, but in their hearts they curse. Salah. My being finds rest in the Lua alone, because my expectation is from him. He alone is my rock and my deliverance, my strong tower. I am not shaken. In the Lua is my deliverance and my esteem, the rock of my strength. My refuge is in the Lua. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. The Lord is a refuge for us. Salah. Sons of Adam are but a breath. Sons of men are a lie. If weighed in the scales, they are altogether lighter than breath. Do not trust in oppression and do not become vain in robbery. If riches increase, do not apply your heart to them. Alua has spoken once. Twice I have heard this, that strength belongs to Alua, and kindness is yours, O Yahuwah, for you reward each according to his work. A Psalm of Dawid, when he was in the wilderness of Yehuda, O Alua, you are my all. I earnestly seek you. My being has thirsted for you. My flesh has longed for you. In a dry and thirsty land without water. Therefore I have had a vision of you in the Kodesh place. To see your power and your esteem. Because your kindness is better than life. My lips praise you. Therefore I barack you while I live. In your name I lift up my hands. My being is satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth praises you with singing lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing. My being has closely followed you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek to destroy my life go into the lower parts of the earth. They are handed over to the power of the sword. They become a portion for jackals. But let the king rejoice in the lure, 
let everyone who swears by him exult. For the mouth of those speaking lies are stopped. To the chief singer, Assam Dawid. Hear my voice, O Alul, in my meditation. Guard my life from the threats of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plans of the evildoers, from the tumult of the workers of wickedness, who sharpen their tongue like a sword and aim their arrows, a bitter word, to shoot in ambush at someone blameless. They shoot at him suddenly and do not fear. They arm themselves with an evil word. They talk of hiding snares. They have said, who sees them? They search out unrighteousnesses. We had perfected a well-searched out plan. For the inward part of man and heart are deep. But the Lord shoots at them with an arrow. Their wounds shall be sudden. And they cause one to stumble. Their own tongue is against them. All who see them flee away. And all men revere and declare the work of a Lord. And they shall wisely consider what he has done. The righteous rejoice in Yahuwah and shall take refuge in him. And all the upright in heart do praise. To the chief singer, a psalm, a song of Dawid. To you, stillness, praise, and Sion, O Elul, to you a vow is paid. To you who hears all prayer, all flesh comes. Wicked matters were mightier than I. As for our transgressions, you covered them. Baruch is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We are satisfied with the goodness of your house, your Kodesh Hekal. By awesome deeds and righteousness, you answer us. O Lua of our deliverance, the trust of all the ends of the earth and the distant seas, who established the mountains by his strength, being girded with might, who steals the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the uproar of the peoples. And they who dwell in the farthest parts are afraid of your signs. You make the outgoings of the morning and evening rejoice. You have visited the earth and watered it. You greatly enrich it. The river of Alua is filled with water. You provide their grain. For so you have prepared it. Its ridges have been filled. Its furrows have been deepened. You make it soft with showers. You Barak is growth. You have crowned the year with your goodness and your paths drip with fatness. The pastures of the wilderness drip and the hills are girded with rejoicing. The meadows are dressed in flocks and valleys are covered with grain. They shout for joy and sing. To the chief singer, a psalm, a song. Shout with joy to Elul, all the earth. Sing out the splendor of his name. Make his praise esteemed. Say to Elul, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies pretend obedience to you. All the earth bow to you. They sing praises to you. They praise your name. Salah. Come and see the works of Elul, awesome acts toward the sons of men. He has turned the sea into dry land. They went through the rivers on foot. There we rejoice in him. Who rules by his power forever? His eyes keeping watch on the Gentiles. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves. Salah. Barak our Elul, you peoples, and sound his praise abroad. Who keeps us in life? And does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O Elua, have proved us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our loins. You have let men ride at our head. We went through fire and through water. But you brought us out to plenty. I enter your house with burnt offerings. I complete my vows to you. That which my lips have uttered. 
and my mouth spoke in my distress. Burnt offerings of fatlings I offer to you with the incense of rams. I offer bulls with goats. Salah. Come, hear all you who revere Alul, and I relate what he has done for my being. I call to him with my mouth, and praise was in my tongue. If I have seen wickedness in my heart, Yahuwah will not hear. Truly, Alua has heard me. He has given heed to the voice of my prayer. Baruch be Alua, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his kindness from me. To the chief singer, on stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. Alua favors us and barak us, cause his face to shine upon us. Salah. For your way to be known on earth, your deliverance among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O Alua. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples uprightly and lead the nations on earth. Salah. Let the peoples praise you. O oh, Alua, let all the peoples praise you. The earth shall give her increase. Alua, our own Alua, Barak us. Alua, Barak us. And all the ends of the earth revere him. To the chief singer, a psalm, a song of Dawid. Alua arises, his enemies are scattered. And those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, you drive away. As wax melts before the fire, the wicked perish before Alu. But the righteous are glad. They exult before Alu, and they rejoice with gladness. Sing to Alu, sing praises to his name. Raise up a highway for him who rides through the deserts. By his name, Yah, and exult before him. Father of the fatherless and right ruler of widows is Alua in his Kodesh dwelling. Alua makes a home for the lonely. He brings out into prosperity those who are bound with chains. Only the rebellious shall dwell in the dry land. O oh, Alua, when you went out before your people, when you stepped through the wilderness, Salah, the earth shook and the Shamayim dropped before Alua. This Sinai shook before Alua, the Alua of Yasharal. You, O oh Alua, sent a shower of plenty. You confirmed your inheritance. When it was weary, your flock dwelt in it. You provided from your goodness for the poor, O oh Alua. Yahuwah gave the word. The women who proclaimed it was a great company. Kings of armies flee in haste, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. If you lie down among the sheepfolds, the wings of a dove are covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold. When all Shaddai scattered kings in it, it snowed in Salmon. A mountain of Alua is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of peaks is the mountain of Bashan. O mountain of peaks, why do you gaze in envy at the mountain which Alua desired to dwell in? Yahuwah even dwells forever. The chariots of Alua are twenty thousand, thousands of thousands. Yahuwah came from Sinai into the Kodesh place. You have ascended on high. You have led captivity captive. You have received gifts among men and even the rebellious that Yah Alua might dwell. Baruch be Yahuwah. Day by day he bears our burden, the all of our deliverance. Salah. Our all is the all of deliverance. And to Yahuwah, the master, belong escapes from death. Indeed, Alua smites the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of him who walks about in his guilt. Yahuwah said, I bring back from Bashan. I bring back from the depths of the sea, so that you plunge your foot in blood. That the tongues of your dogs have their portion from their enemies. They have seen your goings, O Lord. 
the goings of my all, my sovereign, into the Kodesh place. The singers went in front, the players on instruments after them. Among them were the maidens playing tambourines, Barakalua in the assemblies, Yahuwah from the fountain of Yasharal. There is Benjamin, the smallest, their ruler, the leaders of Yehuda, their company, the leader of Zebulun, the leader of Naphtali. Your Allah has commanded your strength. Be strong. O oh, Allah, this you have worked out for us. Because of your Hakal at Jerusalem, kings bring presents to you. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reeds, the herd of bulls, with the calves of the peoples, each one humbling himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in conflicts. Ambassadors come out of Mishraim. Kush stretches out her hands to Elul. Sing to Elul, you reigns of the earth. Praise to Yahuwah, Salah. To him who rides on the ancient highest Shamaim. See, he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to Elul. His excellence is over Yasharal, and his strength is in the clouds. O Elul, awesome from your set apart places. The awe of Yasharal is he who gives strength and power to his people. Baruch be Elul. To the chief singer on trumpets of Dawid. Save me, O Elul, for waters have come up to my neck. I have sunk in deep mud, and there is no place to stand. I have come into deep waters, and the floods overflow me. I am worn out from my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes grow dim as I wait for my Elul. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who will destroy me. My lying enemies, what I did not steal, I restored. O oh, Lord, you yourself know my foolishness, and my guilt has not been hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O oh, Master, you who are a host, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be humble because of me, O oh, Lord of Yasharal. Because I have borne reproach for your sake, shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers and a foreigner to my mother's children because order for your house has eaten me up and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me and I wept in my being with fasting and it became my reproach and when I put on sackcloth I became a proverb to them they who sit in the gates talk about me and I'm the song of the drunkards but as for me my prayer is to you O oh, Yahuwah at an acceptable time, O oh, Lord, in the greatness of your kindness, answer me in the truth of your deliverance. Rescue me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not a flood of waters overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up, nor let the pit shut his mouth on me. Answer me, O oh, Yahuwah, for your kindness is good. According to the greatness of your compassion, turn to me and do not hide your face from your servant. For I'm in distress. Answer me speedily. Draw near to my being. Redeem it. Ransom me because of my enemies. You yourself know my reproach and my shame and my confusion. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart and I'm sick. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none, and they gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let the table before them become a snare, and a trap to those at ease. Let the eyes be darkened so as not to see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your wrath upon them, and let your burning displeasure overtake them. Let their encampments be deserted, let no one dwell in their tents. For they persecuted him whom you have smitten and talk about the pain of those you have wounded. Add wickedness to their wickedness and let them not enter into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and in pain. Let your deliverance 
O Lua, place me up on high. I praise the name of Allure with a song, and I make him great with thanksgiving. And this pleases Yahuwah more than the ox, a bull with horns, hooves. The humble shall see, they rejoice. You who seek Allure, and your hearts live. For Yahuwah hears the poor, and he shall not despise his captives. Let the Shamaim and earth praise him, the seas, and all that moves in them. For Allure shall save Sion and build the cities of Yehuda, and they shall dwell there and possess it, and the seed of his servants inherit it, and those who love his name dwell in it. To the chief singer of Dawid to bring remembrance. O Allure, deliver me. Hasten to my help, O Yahuwah. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and abashed. Let those who are desiring my evil be turned back and humiliated. Let those who say, aha, aha, be turned back because of their shame. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your deliverance always say, let Allah be made great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to help me, O oh, Allah. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh, Yahuwah, do not delay. In you, O oh, Yahuwah, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock to dwell in. To go into continually. You have given the command to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Rescue me, O oh my Lord. Out of the hand of the wicked. Out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel. For you are my expectation. Master Yahuwah. My trust from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. You took me out of my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have become as a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled, your praise, your splendor all the day. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. For my enemies have spoken against me. And those who watch for my life have taken counsel together, saying, Allure has forsaken him. Pursue and take him, for there is no one to deliver. O oh, Allure, do not be far from me. My Allure, hasten to my help. Let those who are adversaries of my life be ashamed, consumed. Let those who seek my evil be covered with reproach and confusion. But I continually wait and shall praise you more. My mouth recounts your righteousness, your deliverance all the day. Though I do not know numbers, I come in the might of the master, Yahuwah. I made mention of your righteousness, yours alone. Allure, you have taught me from my youth, and to this day I declare your wonders. And also when I'm old and gray, O oh, Allure, do not forsake me, until I declare your strength to a generation, your might to all those who are to come. For your righteousness, O oh, Allure, is most high. You who have done greatness, O oh, Lord, who is like you? You who have shown me great and evil distresses, revive me again and bring me up again from the depths of the earth. You increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Also with the leer, I praise you for your trustworthiness, O oh, my Lord. I sing to you with the leer, O oh, Kadosh one of Yasharal. My lips shout for joy when I sing to you, even my being, which you have redeemed. My tongue, too, utters your righteousness all day long. For those who have been seeking my evil, have been put to shame, have become abashed. To Shaloma. O oh, Allure, give the king your right rulings, 
and your righteousness to the bond of a king. Let him rule your people with righteousness and your poor with right ruling. Let the mountains bring peace to the people and the hills by righteousness. Let him rightly rule the poor of the people. Save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. Let them revere you before the sun and before the moon in all generations. Let him come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers watering the earth. Let the righteous flourish in his days with plenty of peace till the moon is no more. And let him rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Let those dwelling in the desert bow before him and let his enemies lick the dust. Let the kings of Tarshish and of the isles bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba offer gifts and let all kings bow down before him. All nations serve him. For he delivers the needy when he cries and the poor who has no helper. He spares the poor and needy and he saves the lives of the needy. He redeems their life from oppression and from violence. And their blood is precious in his eyes. And he shall live. And the gold of Shabbat be given to him. And prayer be made for him continually. Let him be Baruch all day long. Let there be plenty of grain in the earth. On the top of the mountains. Let its fruit wave like Lebanon. And those of the city flourish like grass of the earth. Let his name be forever. His name continue before the sun. And let them Barak themselves in him. Let all nations call him Baruch. Baruch be Yahuwah, Elua, Elua of Yasharal. He alone is doing wonders. And Baruch be his esteemed name forever. And let all the earth be filled with his esteem. So be it, and so shall it be. The prayers of Dawid, the bond of Yeshai, are ended. A Psalm of Asaph Elua is truly good to Yasharal, to those whose heart is clean. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the boasters when I saw the peace of the wicked. For death has no pangs for them, and their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, and they are not plagued like other men. So pride is their necklace. The garment of violence covers them. Their eyes bulge with fatness. Their heart overflows with imaginations. They mock and speak in the evil of oppression. They speak loftily. They have put their mouth against the Shamayim, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore his people return here, and waters filled are drained by them. And they have said, How could all know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? See, these are the wicked, and always at ease. They have amassed wealth. Indeed, in vain have I cleansed my heart, and washed my hands in innocence. For I am plagued all day long, and my reproof is every morning. If I had said, let me speak thus. See, I would have deceived the generation of your children. Yet, when I tried to understand this, it was labor to my eyes. Until I went into the mikdash of all, I perceived their end. Indeed, you put them in slippery places. You made them fall to ruins. How suddenly they're ruined. Completely swept away through destructions. Yahuwah. When you awake, you despise their image, as one does a dream after waking. For my heart was in a ferment, and I was pierced in my kidneys. I was stupid and ignorant. I was like a beast toward you. Yet I'm always with you. You took hold of my right hand. You lead me by your counsel, and afterward receive me onto esteem. Whom do I have in the Shamayim? And I have desired no one besides you on earth. My flesh and my heart shall waste away. But Lua is the rock of my heart and my portion forever. For look, those who are far from you perish. You shall cut off all those who go whoring away from you. But as for me, it is good to be near Lua 
I have made my refuge in the master Yahuwah to declare all your works. A poem of Asaph. O oh, Alu, why do you forever reject us? Why does your displeasure smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, you persons of old, the tribe of your inheritance you redeemed, this Mount Sion where you have dwelt. Lift up your steps to the endless ruins. The enemy has done all evil in the Kodesh place. Your adversaries have roared in the midst of your appointments. They have put up their own signs as signs. It seems as if one had lifted up axes among the thick trees. And now all is carved work. They have broken down with axe and hammer. They have cast fire into your mitdash. They have profaned the mishkan of your name to the ground. They said in their hearts, Let us suppress them altogether. They burned all the meeting places of all in the land. We do not see our signs. There is no longer a Nabi, nor any among us who knows how long. O oh, Lu, how long would the adversary reproach? Would the enemy despise your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, even your right hand, from the midst of your bosom? End it. For Alua is my sovereign from of old, working deliverance in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the sea serpents in the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces. You left him meat for people in the desert. You cleaved the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours. The night is yours too. You have established the lights and the sun. You have appointed all the borders of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this. The enemy has reproached Yahuwah. And a foolish people has despised your name. Do not give the being of your turtle dove to the wild beast. Do not forget the life of your afflicted ones forever. Look to the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are filled. With haunts of violence. Let not the crushed one return to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O Allah, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Do not forget the voice of your enemies. The uproar of those rising up against you increases continually. To the chief singer, do not destroy a psalm, a song of Asaph. We shall give thanks to you, O Lord, we shall give thanks, and your name is near. Your wonders shall be declared. When I seize the appointed time, it is I who judge in uprightness. The earth and all its inhabitants are melted. It is I who balances its columns. Salah. I said to the boasters, do not boast, and to the wicked, do not lift up the horn, do not lift up your horn on high, you speak with a stiff neck. For exaltations are neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the wilderness, but a lure is the judge, he puts down one and exhausts another. For a cup in the hand of Yahuwah, and the wine shall foam. It is filled with a mixture, and he pours it out. All the wicked of the earth drink, draining it to the dregs. But I, I declare forever, I sing praises to the allure of Yaakov. And all the horns of the wicked I cut off. The horns of the righteous are lifted up. To the chief singer on stringed instruments. A psalm, a song of Asaph. In Yehuda, the Lord is known. His name is great in Yasharal. And his booth is in Shalem, and his dwelling place in Sion. There he broke the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword and the battle axe. Salah. You are resplendent, more excellent than mountains of prey. The stout hearted have been stripped. 
they slept their sleep, and none of the mighty men had found their hands. At your rebuke, O Alua of Yaakov, both the rider and horse lay stunned. You, you are to be revered, and who will stand in your presence when you are displeased? From the Shamayim you shall cause judgment to be heard. The earth shall fear and shall be still when the Lord arises to right ruling to save all the meek of the earth. Salah. For the wrath of mankind praises you. With the remainder of wrath you gird yourself. May vow to Yahuwah your Lord and pay them. Let all who are around him bring presents to the one to be revered. He cuts off the Ruach of leaders. He is awesome to the kings of the earth. To the chief singer, to Yadathun, a psalm of Asaph. My voice is to Alua, and I cry. My voice is to Alua, and he listened to me. In the day of my distress, I sought Yahuwah. My hand was stretched out in the night, and it did not cease. My being refused to be comforted. I remembered the lure and groaned. I complained, and my ruach grew faint. Silah. You ceased the watches of my eyes. I was too troubled to speak. I have thought about the days of old, the years long past. I remember my song in the night. I meditate within my heart. And my Ruach searches diligently. Would Yahuwah reject forever and never again be pleased? Has his kindness ceased forever? Has the promise failed for all generations? Has all forgotten to show favor? Has he shut up his compassions in displeasure? Salah. And I said, this is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of Yah, for I remember your wonders of old. And I shall meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O Alua, is in set apartness. Who is a great all like Alua? You are the all who does wonders. You have made known your strength among the peoples. By your arm you have redeemed your people. The sons of Yaakov and Yosef. Salah. The water saw you, O Alua. The water saw you. They were afraid. The depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water. The Shamayim rumbled. Also, your arrows flashed back and forth. The voice of your thunder rolled along. Lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea. And your path in the great waters. And your footsteps were not known. You led your people like a flock. By the hand of Masha. And I hold on. A Psalm of Asad. My people, give ear to my Torah. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I open my mouth in a parable. I utter riddles of old, which we have heard and known. For our fathers have declared to us. We do not hide from their children, declaring to the generation to come the praises of Yahuwah and his strength and his wonders which he has done. For he raised a witness in Yaakov and put a Torah in Yasharal, which he commanded our fathers to teach them to their children, that it might be known to a generation to come, to children who will be born, to rise up and declare to their children. And place their trust in the Lord, and not forget the works of all. But watch over his commands, and not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation which did not prepare its heart, whose ruach was not steadfast to all. The children of Ephraim, armed bow archers, turned back in the day of battle. They did not guard the covenant of the Lord. And they refused to walk in his Torah. And they forgot his deeds and his wonders which he had shown them. He did wonders in the sight of their fathers. In the land of Mizraim, 
in the field of so on. He split the sea and caused them to pass through. And he made the water stand up like a heap and led them with the cloud by day and all the night with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and made them drink as from the great depths and brought forth streams from the rock and caused waters to come down as rivers. Yet they sinned still more against him to rebel against the Most High in the desert. And they tried all in their heart by asking food according to their desire. And they spoke against Elul. They said, Is all able to prepare a table in the wilderness? Look, he struck the rock so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Is he able to get bread also? Would he provide meats for his people? Therefore, Yahuwah heard, and he was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Yaakob, and displeasure also came up against Yasharal, because they did not believe in Elul, neither did they trust in his deliverance. Yet he had commanded the clouds above, and opened the doors of the Shamayim, and he rained down manna on them to eat, and he gave them the grain of the Shamayim. Men ate bread of the mighty, he sent them provisions to satisfaction. He made an east wind blow in the Shamayim, and by his power he brought in the south wind, and he rained meats on them like the dust, and winged birds like the sand of the seas, and let them fall in the midst of his camp, all around his Mishkan. So they ate and were completely satisfied, for he brought them what they desired. They had not turned away from their desire, their food was still in their mouths. When the wrath of Elua came against them, and he slew among their fat ones, and he struck down the choice ones of Yasharal. In spite of all this, they still sinned, and did not believe in his wonders. So he ended their days in a breath, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and earnestly sought all. And they remembered that Elua was their rock, and the Most High all their Redeemer. But they flattered him with their mouth, and they lied to him with their tongue. For their hearts was not steadfast with him, and they were not true to his covenant. But he, the compassionate one, pardoned wickedness, and did not destroy them. And many a time he turned his displeasure away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a passing breath that does not return. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. And again and again they tried all and provoked the Kadosh one of Yasharal. They did not remember his hand the day when he redeemed them from their adversary. How he worked his signs in Mishraim and his wonders in the field and so on. He turned their rivers into blood and they could not drink their streams. He sent among them swarms of flies which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them, and gave their crops to the caterpillar, and their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and the sycamore trees with frost, and gave their beasts over to the hail, and their livestock to boats of fire. He sent on them the burning of his displeasure, wrath, and rage, and distress a deputation of messengers of evils. He made a path for his displeasure. He did not spare their being from death, but gave their life over to the plague. And he smote all the firstborn in Mishraim, the first fruits of strength in the tents of Ham. Then made his own people go forth like sheep and led them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, and they did not fear. But the sea covered their enemies, and he brought them to the border of his Kodesh place, this mountain which his right hand had gained, and drove out nations before them, and allotted them a measured inheritance, and made the tribes of Yasharal dwell in their tents. Yet they tried and rebelled against the Most High Lord, and did not guard his witnesses. But they turned back, and acted treacherously like their fathers. They twisted like a treacherous bow, 
for they enraged him with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their carved images. When the Lord heard this, he was wroth and greatly despised Yasharal. And he left the Mishkan of Shiloh, the tent which he had put up among men, and he gave his strength into captivity and his calmness into the hand of the adversary, and he gave his people over to the sword. And he was wroth with his inheritance. His young men were consumed by fire, and his maidens were not praised. His coconim fell by the sword, and their widows could not weep. Then Yahuwah awoke as one asleep, as a mighty man who shouts because of wine, and he smote his adversaries backward. He put them to an everlasting reproach. Then he rejected the tent of Yosef and did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Yehuda, Mount Sion, which he loved. And he built his set-apart place like the heights, like the earth, he founded it forever. And he chose Dawid, his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. He brought him in from tending the ewes, to shepherd Yaakob his people, and Yasharal his inheritance, and he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and led them by the skill of his hands. A Psalm of Asaph O Allure, the Gentiles have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your Kodesh Hakal. They turn Jerusalem into ruins. They have given the dead bodies of your servants as food for the birds of the Shamayim, the flesh of your kind ones to the wild beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem with no one to bury. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a mockery to those who are around us. How long, O Yahuwah? Would you be enraged forever? Would your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the Gentiles who have not known you, and on rains they have not called on your name, for they have devoured Yaakob and laid waste his pasture. Do not remember against us the wickednesses of the fathers. Let your compassion speedily meet us, for we have been greatly weakened. Help us, O Allure of our deliverance. For the sake of the esteem of your name and deliver us and cover over our sins for your name's sake. Why should the Gentiles say, where's their lure? Let the vengeance of the outpour blood of your servants be known among the Gentiles before our eyes. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you according to the greatness of your arm. Preserve those appointed to death. And repay to our neighbors sevenfold their reproach into their bosom, with which they have reproached you, O Yahuwah. And we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, we give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we show forth your praise. To the chief singer on Lilies of Witness. The Psalm of Asaph. Give ear, O shepherd of Yasharal, who leads Yosef like a flock, who dwells between the Cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come and save us. Cause us to turn back, O Alu, and cause your face to shine that we might be saved. O Yahuwah, Allure hosts, how long shall you be wroth against the prayer of your people? You have caused them to eat the bread of tears and have caused them to drink with tears a third time. You have made us a stripe to our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us back, O Allure of hosts, and cause your face to shine that we might be saved. You brought a vine out of Mishraim. You drove out the nations and planted it. 
you clear the place for it and cause it to take deep root and it filled the land. Hills were covered with his shadow and the mighty setters with his twigs. She spread her branches to the sea and her shoots to the river. Why have you broken down her hedges so that every passerby plucked her fruit? The boar out of the forest ravages it and the wild beast of the field devours it. Return, we beg you, O Allure of hosts. Look down from the Shamaim and see and visit this vine and the stock which your right hand has planted and the bond whom you made strong for yourself. It is burned with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your face. Let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, upon the bond of Adam, whom you made strong for yourself. And we shall not backslide from you. Revive us and let us call upon your name. Turn us back, O Yahuwah, Elu of hosts, and cause your face to shine that we might be saved. To the chief singer on harp of Asaph. Shout for joy to Alua, our strength. Raise a shout to the Alua of Yaakov. Lift up a song and beat the tambourine, the pleasant lyre, and with the harp. Blow the ram's horn at the time of the new moon, at the covering, on our feast day. For this is a law for Yasharal and a right ruling of the allure of Yaakob. He appointed it in Yahusef for a witness. When he went throughout the land of Misraim, I heard a language that I did not know. I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were freed from the baskets. You called in distress, and I rescued you. I answered you in the covering of thunder. I proved you at the waters of Meribah. Salah. Hear, O my people, and let me warn you, O Yasharal, if you will listen to me. Let there be no strange mighty one among you, and do not bow down to a foreign mighty one. I am Yahuwah, your Elul, who brought you out of the land of Mishraim. Open your mouth wide, and I fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. And Yasharal would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn hearts to walk in their own counsels. Oh, if my people had listened to me, Yasharal would walk in my ways. I will subdue their enemies at once and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate Yahuwah will cringe before him, and their time be forever. He will feed them with the finest of wheat, and with honey from the rock I will satisfy you. A Psalm of Asaph Alua stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges in the midst of the mighty ones. How long would you judge perversely and show partiality to the wicked? Salah. Give right ruling to the poor and fatherless. Do right to the afflicted and needy. Rescue the poor and needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Ah, I, I said, you are Elohim, and all of you are the sons of the Most High. But as men you die and fall as one of their heads. Arise, O Lord, judge the earth, for you shall possess all the nations. A Song, a Psalm of Asaph. O Lord, do not remain silent, do not be speechless, and do not be still, O all. For look, your enemies make an uproar, and those hating you have lifted up their head. They craftily plot against your people.
and conspire against your treasure ones. They have said, Come and let us wipe them out as a nation and let the name of Yasharal be remembered no more. For they have conspired together with one heart. They have made a covenant against you, the tents of Edom and the Yishmaelites, Moab and the Hagarites, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, Pelesheth with the inhabitants of Sor. Asher also has joined with them. They have helped the children a lot. Salah. Do to them as to Midian, as to Sisera, as to Yabin, at the Wadi Kishon, who perished at Endor, who became as dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, and like their princes like Zabah and Salmuna, who have said, let us take possession of the pastures of Alul for ourselves. Oh, my Alul, make them as whirling dust, as stubble before the wind, as a fire consumes a forest, and as a flame lights mountains on fire. So pursue them with your whirlwind and frighten them with your storm. Fill their faces with shame and let them seek your name, O oh, Yahuwah. Let them be ashamed and alarmed forever, and let them become abashed and perish, and let them know that you, whose name is Yahuwah, you alone are the most high over all the earth. To the chief singer, on harp, a psalm for the sons of Korah. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Yahuwah hosts! My being has longed and even fainted for the courts of Yahuwah. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living all. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she has put her young ones, your altars, O Yahuwah hosts, my sovereign and my allure. Baruch are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Salah. Baruch is the man whose strength is in you. Highways are in their hearts. Passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a fountain. The teacher also covers it with barricult. They go from strength to strength. Appearing before Alua in Sion. O Yahuwah, Alua of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O Alua of Yaakov, Salah. O Alua, see our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I have chosen rather to be a doorkeeper in the house of my Alua than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For Yahuwah, Alua is a brilliance and a shield. Yahuwah gives favor and esteem. He will pose no goodness for those who walk blamelessly. O oh, Yahuwah host, Baruch is the man who trusts in you. To the chief singer, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Yahuwah, you shall take pleasure in your land. You shall turn back the captivity of Yaakov. You shall take away the wickedness of your people. You shall cover all their sin. Salah. You shall withdraw all your wrath. You shall turn from your fierce displeasure. Turn back to us, O Allah of our deliverance, and cause your wrath toward us to cease. Would you be enraged with us forever? Would you draw out your displeasure from generation to generation? Would you not revive us again for your people to rejoice in you? Show us your kindness, O Yahuwah, and give us your deliverance. Let me hear what all Yahuwah speaks, for he speaks peace to his people and to his kind ones, and let them not turn again to folly. Truly, his deliverance is near to those who revere him, for esteem to dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Righteousness and peace shall touch. Truth 
sprouts forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from the Shamaim. Indeed, Yahuwah gives what is good, and our land yields his increase. Righteousness goes before him and prepares a way for his footsteps. A Prayer of Dawid Incline your ear, O Yahuwah, answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my being, for I am kindly. You are my allure. Save your servant who is trusting in you. So favor to me, O Yahuwah, for I cry to you all day long. Bring joy to the being of your servant, for to you, O Yahuwah, I lift up my being. For you, Yahuwah, are good and ready to forgive, and great in kindness to all those who call upon you. Give ear, O Yahuwah, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my pleadings. In the day of my distress, I call upon you, for you answer me. There is none like you among the mighty ones. O Yahu, and like your works, there are none. Let all nations you have made come and bow themselves before you, O Yahuwah, and give esteem to your name, for you are great and are doing wonders. You are a lure, you alone. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah. Let me walk in your truth. Unite my heart to revere your name. I praise you. O Yahuwah, my Allure, with all my heart, and I esteem your name forever. For your kindness is great toward me, and you have delivered my being from the depths of the grave. O Allure, the proud have risen against me, and a band of dreaded men have sought my life, and have not put you before them. But you, O Yahuwah, are a compassionate all, and showing favor. Patient and great in kindness and truth. Turn to me and show favor to me. Give your strength to your servant and save the bond of your female servant. Show me a sign for good and let those hating me see it and be ashamed. For you, Yahuwah, have helped me and comforted me. A psalm, a song, for the sons of Korah. His foundation is in the Kodesh Mountains. Yahuwah loved the gates of Sion more than all the dwellings in Yaakov. Esteem is spoken of you, O city of Elul. Salah. I mention Rahab and Babel to those who know me. See, O Pelashet and Sword with Cush. This and that one was born there. In a scion it is said, Each one was born in her, for the Most High himself establishes her. Yahuwah writes in the register of the peoples, This one was born there. Salah. In the singers and the players on instruments, all my fountains are in you. A song, a psalm for the sons of Korah, to the chief singer, on answers for sickness, a poem of Haman, the Ezraite. O Yehu, the lure of my deliverance, by day I have cried out, in the night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry, for my being is filled with evils. And my life draws near to the grave. I have been reckoned among those who go down to the pit. I have become like a man who has no strength. Released among the dead. Like slain ones lying in the grave. Whom you have remembered no more. And who have been cut off from your hand. You have put me in the lowest pit. In dark places. In the depths. Your wrath has rested heavily upon me. You have afflicted me with all your breakers. Salah. You have put away my friends far from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I'm shut in and do not go out. 
My eye grows dim because of affliction. Yahuwah, I have called upon you all day long. I have stretched out my hands to you. Would you work wonders for the dead? Would the dead rise to praise you? Salah. Is your kindness declared in the grave? Your trustworthiness in the place of destruction? Are your wonders known in the dark? And your righteousness in the land of no remembrance? But I, unto you I have cried, O Yahuwah. And in the morning my prayer comes before you. Yahuwah, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face from me? I am afflicted and dying from childhood. I have borne fear from you. I am in despair. Your fierce wrath has gone over me. Your onslaughts have cut me off. They surrounded me like water all day long. They closed in upon me altogether. You have put loved one and companion far from me. Darkness is my close friend. A poem of Athan, the Ezraite. I sing of kindnesses of Yahuwah forever. With my mouth I made known your trustworthiness to all generations. For I said, kindness is built up forever. You establish your trustworthiness in the Shamayim. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn to my servant Dawid. I establish your seed forever and shall build up your throne to all generations. Salah. And the Shamayim praise your wonders. O oh, Yahuwah, your trustworthiness too. In the assembly of the Kodoshim. For who in the Shamayim is comparable to Yahuwah? Who among the sons of the mighty is like Yahuwah? All is greatly revered in the company of the Kodoshim, and awesome above all those around him. O oh, Yahuwah, Allah hosts, who is mighty like you, O oh, Yah? And your trustworthiness is all around you. You rule the swelling of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You have broken Rahab in pieces as one who is slain. You have scattered your enemies with the arm of your strength. The Shamayim are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that fills it. You have founded them. North and south, you have created them. Tabor and Hermon. Rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Your hand is strong. Your right hand is exalted. Righteousness and right ruling are the foundation of your throne. Kindness and truth go before your face. Baruch are the people who know the trumpet call. They walk, O Yahuwah, in the light of your face. In your name they rejoice all day long. And they are exalted in your righteousness. For you are the calmliness of their strength, and by your good pleasure our horn is exalted. For Yahuwah is our shield, and the Kadosh one of Yasharal is our sovereign. Then you spoke in a vision to your kind one, and you said, I have given help to one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant Dawid, from my Kodesh or I anointed him. With whom my hand is established, my arm also strengthens him. No enemy subjects him to tribute, and no son of wickedness afflicts him. And I shall beat down his adversaries before his face, and plague those who hate him. But my trustworthiness and my kindness are with him, and in my name his horn is exalted. And I shall put his hand on the sea. And his right hand on the rivers. He calls out to me. You are my father. My all in the rock of my deliverance. I also appoint him firstborn. Highest of the kings of the earth. I guard my kindness for him forever. And my covenant is steadfast with him. And I shall establish his seed forever. And his throne as the days of the Shamayim. If his sons forsake my Torah and do not walk in my right rulings, if they profane my laws and do not guard my commands, 
Then I shall visit their transgression with the rod, and their wickedness with flogging. But my kindness I do not take away from him, nor be false to my trustworthiness. I shall not profane my covenant, neither would I change what has gone out from my lips. Once I had sworn by set apartness, I do not lie to Dawid. His seed shall be forever, and his throne as the sun before me. Like the moon, it is established forever, and the witness in the Shamaim is steadfast. Salah. Yet you have rejected and spurned. You have been wroth with your anointed. You have disowned the covenant of your servant. You have defiled his diadem in the dust. You have broken down all his hedges. You have brought his strongholds to ruin. All who pass by the way plunder him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his adversaries. You have made all his enemies rejoice. Moreover, you have turned back the edge of his sword. You have not made him stand in battle. You have brought an end to his splendor and have hurled his throne to the ground. You have shortened the days of his youth. You have covered them with shame. Salah. How long, O Yahuwah, would you be hidden? Would your wrath burn like fire forever? Please remember how short my time is. Why should you have created all the sons of men for naught? What man will live and not see death? Who rescues his life from the power of the grave? Salah. Yahuwah, where are your former kindnesses, which you swore to die weed and your trustworthiness? Yahuwah, remember the reproach of your servants that I have borne in my bosom of all the many peoples, with which your enemies have reproached, O Yahuwah, with which they have reproached the footsteps of your anointed. Baruch be Yahuwah forever. So be it, and so shall it be. The Prayer of Musha, the Man of Elul. Yahuwah, you have been our refuge in all generations, before the mountains were born, or you have brought forth the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting. You are all. You turn man back to dust and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your eyes are like yesterday that has passed, or like a watch in the night. You have swept them away as they sleep, like grass that springs up in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and springs up, at evening it is cut down and withered. For we have been consumed by your displeasure, and by your wrath we are alarmed. You have laid our wickednesses before you, our hidden ways in the light of your face. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We spend our years like a whisper. The days of our lives are 70 years, or if due to strength, 80 years. Yet the best of them is but toil and exertion, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your displeasure and your wrath according to the fear of you? Teach us to number our days and let us bring the heart to wisdom. Return, O Yahuwah, how long? And be sorry for your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your kindness. And let us sing for joy all our days. Give us joy according to the days you have afflicted us. The years we have seen evil. Reveal your work to your servants. And your splendor to their children. And let the pleasantness of Yahuwah, our Lua, be upon us. And confirm the work of our hands for us. Oh, confirm the work of our hands. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, who abides under the shadow of all Shaddai, he is saying of Yahuwah, my refuge and my stronghold, my Alua in whom I trust. For he delivers you from the snare of a trapper, from the destructive pestilence. He covers you with his feathers, and under his wings you take refuge. 
His truth is a shield and armor. You are not afraid of the dread by night, of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that walks in darkness, of destruction that ravages at midday. A thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it does not come near you. Only with your eyes you look on and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made Yahuwah my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil befalls you, and the plague does not come near your tent. For he commands his Malachim concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You tread upon lion and cobra, young lion and serpent, you trample underfoot. Because he clings to me in love, therefore I deliver him. I exalt him, because he has known my name. When he calls on me, I answer him. I am with him in distress. I deliver him and esteem him. With long life I satisfy him and show him my deliverance. A Psalm, a song for the Shabbat day. It is good to give thanks to Yahuwah and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your kindness in the morning and your trustworthiness each night on ten strings and on a harp to the sounding chords of the lyre. For you have made me rejoice with your work, O Yahuwah, I shout for joy at the works of your hands. O oh, Yahuwah, how great are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, and a fool does not understand this. When the wicked spring up like grass, and all the workers of wickedness blossom, it is for them to be destroyed forever. But you, Yahuwah, are on high forever. For look, your enemies, O oh, Yahuwah, for look, your enemies do perish. All the workers of wickedness are scattered. But you lift up my horn like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil, and my eye looks upon my enemies. My ears hear the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous one flourishes like a palm tree. He grows like a setter in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of Yahuwah flourish in the courts of our Lord. They still bear fruit in old age. They are fresh and green to declare that Yahuwah is straight. My rock and in him is no unrighteousness. Yahuwah shall reign. He shall put on excellency. Yahuwah shall put on strength. He shall gird himself. Indeed. The world is established, immovable. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. Rivers shall lift up, O Yahuwah. Rivers shall lift up their voice. Rivers lift up their breakers. Yahuwah on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, the mighty breakers of the sea. Your witnesses have been very trustworthy. Set apartness befits your house. O oh, Yahuwah forever. O oh, Yahuwah, all of vengeance. O oh, all of vengeance, shine forth. Raise yourself up, O oh, judge of the earth. Render punishment to the proud. Yahuwah, how long are the wicked? How long are the wicked going to exalt? They pour forth. They speak arrogantly. All the workers of wickedness boast in themselves. They crush your people, O Yahuwah, and they afflict your inheritance. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, Yah does not see, and the allure of Yaakov pays no heed. Take heed, you senseless among the people, and you fools, 
when will you become wise? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, does he not reprove? The one teaching man knowledge. Yahuwah knows the thoughts of man, that they are a breath. Baruch is the man you discipline, O oh Yah, and instruct out of your Torah, to give him rest from the days of evil, until the pit is dug for the wicked. For Yahuwah does not leave his people, nor does he forsake his inheritance. For right ruling returns to righteousness, and all the upright in heart follow it. Who will rise up for me against evildoers? Who will stand up for me against workers of wickedness? If Yahuwah had not been my help, my being would soon have settled in silence. When I said, my foot has slipped. Your kindness, O Yahuwah, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your comforts delighted my being. Would a throne of destruction, which divides the trouble by law, be joined with you? They band together against the life of the righteous and declare innocent blood wicked. But Yahuwah is my defense, and my allure, the rock of my refuge, and brings back on them their own wickedness, and cuts them off in their own wickedness. Yahuwah, our allure, cuts them off. Come, let us sing to Yahuwah. Let us raise a shout to the rock of our deliverance. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving. Let us raise a shout to him in a song. For Yahuwah is a great all and a great sovereign above all mighty ones. In whose hand are the depths of the earth. The mountain peaks are his also. His is the sea, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend low. Let us kneel before Yahuwah our maker. For he is our lure, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in Meribah, as in the day of Massah in the wilderness. When your fathers tried me, have proved me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was low with a generation, and said, They are people who go astray in their hearts. And they do not know my ways, as I swore in my wrath, if they enter into my rest. Sing to Yahuwah a new song. Sing to Yahuwah all the earth. Sing to Yahuwah, but rock his name. Proclaim his deliverance from day to day. Declare his esteem among the nations. His wonders among all peoples. For great is Yahuwah and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all mighty ones. For all the mighty ones of the peoples are matters and not. But Yahuwah made the Shamayim. Excellency and splendor are before him. Strength and comeliness are in his Mikdash. Ascribe to Yahuwah, O clans of the peoples. Ascribe to Yahuwah esteem and strength. Ascribe to Yahuwah the esteem in his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Bow yourselves to Yahuwah in the splendor of his set apartness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, Yahuwah shall reign. The world also is established, immovable. He judges the peoples in straightness. Let the Shamayim rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar. And all that fills it. Let the field exult. And all that is in it. Let all the trees of the forest then shout for joy. At the presence of Yahuwah. For he shall come. For he shall come to judge the earth. He judges the world in righteousness. And the peoples with his truth. Yahuwah shall reign. The earth rejoices. Many isles are glad. Clouds and thick cloud all around him. Righteousness and right ruling are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries round about. His lightning shall light the world. 
the earth shall see and tremble. The mountains shall melt like wax before the face of Yahuwah, before the face of the master of all the earth. The Shamaim shall declare his righteousness, and all the people shall see his esteem. All are put to shame who serve carved images, those boasting of matters and not. Bow yourselves to him, all you mighty ones. Sion shall hear and be glad, and the daughters of Yehuda rejoice, because of your right rulings, O Yahuwah. For you, Yahuwah, are the most high over all the earth. You shall be greatly exalted over all mighty ones. You who love Yahuwah hate evil. He guards the lives of his kind ones. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in Yahuwah, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his set-apartness. A Psalm Sing to Yahuwah a new song, for he has done wonders. His right hand and his Kodesh arm have brought him deliverance. Yahuwah has made known his deliverance. His righteousness he has openly shown before the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his kindness and his trustworthiness to the house of Yasharal. All the ends of the earth have seen the deliverance of our Lua. Raise a shout to Yahuwah, all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice, and sing praises. Sing to Yahuwah with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of a song. With trumpets and the sound of a ram's horn. Raise a shout before Yahuwah, the sovereign. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. The world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy before Yahuwah. For he shall come to judge the earth. He judges the world in righteousness and the people in straightness. Yahuwah shall reign. Peoples tremble. He is enthroned on the Karubim. The earth shakes. Yahuwah is great in Sion, and he is high above all the peoples. They praise your name, great and awesome. It is Kodesh, and the strength of the sovereign shall love right ruling. You yourself shall establish straightness. You shall execute right ruling and righteousness in Yaakob. Exalt Yahuwah, our Elua, and bow yourselves at his footstool. He is Kodesh. Musha and Aharon were among his Kuhanim, and Shimeal were among those calling upon his name. They called upon Yahuwah, and he answered them. He spoke to them in the column of cloud. They guarded his witnesses, and the law he gave them. You answered them, O Yahuwah, our Elua. You were a forgiven all to them, though you took vengeance on their deeds. Exalt Yahuwah, our Lua, and bow down towards his Kodesh mountain. For Yahuwah, our Lua, is Kodesh. A Psalm of Thanksgiving Raise a shout for Yahuwah, all the earth. Serve Yahuwah with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that Yahuwah, he is a lure. He has made us, and we are his. His people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Get thanks to him, but rock his name. For Yahuwah is good, his kindness is everlasting, and his truth to all generations. A Psalm of Dawid. I sing of kindness and right ruling. To you, O Yahuwah, I sing praises. I act wisely in a perfect way. When do you come to me? I walk in the midst of my house with a perfect heart. 
I put no matter of be leal before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It does not cling to me. A perverse heart turns away from me. I do not know evil. Him who secretly slanders his neighbor, I cut off. I do not tolerate one who has a haughty look and a proud heart. My eyes are on the trustworthy of the land to dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he serves me. He who practices deceit does not dwell in my house. He who speaks lies does not stand in my presence. Each morning I uproot all the wicked of the land to cut off all the workers of wickedness from the city of Yahuwah. A prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pours out his complaints before Yahuwah. O oh, Yahuwah, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day I call. Answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke and my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, for I have forgotten to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my sighing, my bones have clung to my flesh. I have been like a pelican of the wilderness. I have been like an owl of the desert. I have watched, and I am as a bird alone on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long. Those who rave against me have sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mixed my drink with tears because of your displeasure and your wrath. For you have lifted me up and thrown me down. My days are like a shadow that lengthens and I wither away like grass. But you, O Yahuwah, shall be enthroned forever and the remembrance of you be to all generations. You yourself shall arise and have compassion on Sion, for the time to favor her, the appointed time has come. For your servants have been pleased with her stones, and they favor her dust. And the nations shall revere the name of Yahuwah, and all the kings of the earth your esteem. For Yahuwah shall build up Sion, he shall appear in his esteem. He shall turn unto the prayer of the destitute, and he shall not despise their prayer. This is written for a generation to come, so that a people to be created praise Yah. For he looked down from the heights of his Kodes place. From the Shamaim, Yahuwah viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of Yahuwah in Sion and his praise in Jerusalem. When peoples gather together in reigns to serve Yahuwah, he has humbled my strength in the way. He has shortened my days. I said, oh, my all, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. You founded the earth of old and the Shamaim are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain and all of them grow old like a garment. You change them like a coat, and they are changed, but you are the same, and your years have no end. The sons of your servants continue, and their seed is established before you. Of Dawid Barak Yahu, O oh my being, and all that is within me. His code as name, Barak Yahuwah, O my being, and do not forget all his dealings, who forgives all your wickednesses, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your height from destruction, who crowns you with kindness and compassion, who satisfies your desire with the good. Your youth is renewed like the eagles. Yahuwah is doing righteousness and right ruling for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Musha, 
his acts to the children of Yasharal. Yahuwah is compassionate and showing favor, patient and great in kindness. He does not always strive, nor maintain it forever. He has not done to us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our weaknesses. For as the Shamayim are high above the earth, so great is his kindness toward those who revere him. As far as east is from west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so Yahuwah has compassion for those who revere him. For he knows how we are made. He remembers that we are dust. A man's days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind blows over it, and it is no more, and its place no longer remembers it. But the kindness of Yahuwah is from everlasting to everlasting upon those who revere him. And his righteousness to children's children, to those who guard his covenant, and to those who remember his orders to do them. Yahuwah has established his throne in the Shamayim, and his reign shall rule over all. Barak Yahuwah, you his Malachim, mighty in power, who do his word, listening to the voice of his word. Barak Yahuwah, all you his hosts, you his servants, who do his pleasure. Barak Yahuwah, all his works, in all places of his rule. Barak Yahuwah, O my being. Barak Yahuwah, O my being. O Yahuwah, my allure, you have been very great. You have put on excellency and splendor, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the Shamayim like a curtain, who is laying the beams of his upper rooms in the waters, who is making thick clouds his chariot, who is walking on the wings of the wind making his Malachim the winds, his servants a flame of fire. He established the earth on his foundations so that it would not totter forever. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they flee. At the voice of your thunder they hurry away. They go up the mountains. They go down the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You put a boundary, they do not pass over. They do not return to cover the earth. Who is sending the springs into the valleys? They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. Wild donkeys break their thirst. The birds of the Shamayim dwell beside them. They sing from between the branches. Watering the hills from his upper rooms. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works causing the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of mankind to bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the heart of man, oil to make the face shine and bread which sustains man's heart. The trees of Yahuwah are satisfied, the setters of Lebanon which he planted, where the birds make nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees, the high hills are for wild goats, rocks, a refuge for rock badgers. He made the moon for appointed times. The sun knows it's going down. You put darkness, and it is night. In it, all the beasts of the forest creep. The young lions are roaring for prey and seeking their food from all. The sun arises, they withdraw, and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor till evening. O oh, Yahuwah, how many have been your works? You have made all of them in wisdom. The earth is filled with your possessions. There is the sea, great and wide, in which are innumerable swarms, living creatures, small with great. There do ships go, that Leviathan which you made, to play there. All of them wait for you to get their food in due season. You give to them, they gather in. You open your hand, they are satisfied with good. You hide your face, 
they are alarmed. You take away their breath. They die and return to their dust. You send forth your Ruach. They are created. And you renew the face of the earth. The esteem of Yahuwah is forever. Yahuwah rejoices in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles? He touches the mountains and they smoke. I sing to Yahuwah as long as I live. I sing praise to my Lord while I exist. My meditation on him is sweet. I rejoice in Yahuwah. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Barak Yahuwah, O oh my being. Hallelujah. Give thanks to Yahuwah. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Speak of all his wonders. Make your boast in this Kodesh name. Let the hearts rejoice at all seeking Yahuwah. Seek Yahuwah and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember his wonders which he has done. His miracles and the right rulings of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Yahuwah, our Elua. His right rulings are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenants forever. The word he commanded for a thousand generations that he made with Abraham and his oath to Yitzhak and established it to Yaakov for a law, to Yasharal, an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I give the land of Kena Anon, the portion of your inheritance. When they were few in number, few indeed, and sojourners in it, and they went about from one nation to another, from one reign to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He reproved kings for their sakes. Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my nabi eat no evil. And he called for scarcity of food in the land. He cut off all the supply of bread. He sent ahead of them a man, Yosef, sold as a slave. They afflicted his feet with shackles. His neck was put in irons. Until the time that his word came, the word of Yahuwah refined him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people let him loose. He made him master of his house and ruler over all his possessions. To bind his chiefs at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Then Yasharal came to Misraim, and Yaakob sojourned in the land of Ham. And he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to conspire against his servants. He sent Musha, his servant, Aharon, whom he had chosen. They put among them the matters of his signs and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his word. He turned their waters into blood and killed their fish. Their land teemed with frogs in the rooms of their kings. He spoke and swarms of flies came gnats in all their borders he gave them hail for rain a flaming fire in their land and he smote their vines and their fig trees and broke the trees of their borders he spoke and locusts came and larvae innumerable and they devoured all the plants in their land and they devoured the fruit of their ground then he smote all the firstborn in their land the first fruit of all their strength, and brought them out with silver and gold, and among his tribes no one faltered. Misraim was glad when they left, for the fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for their covering, and fire to give light in the night. They asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with the bread of the Shamaim. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It ran into dry places. A river, for he remembered his code as word to Abraham, his servant. So he brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with singing. And he gave to them the lands of the Gentiles, and they inherited the labor of peoples.
in order that they might guard his laws and watch over his Torah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, get thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good, for his kindness is everlasting. Who relates the mighty acts of Yahuwah, or declare all his praise? Baruch are those who guard right ruling, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Yahuwah, in the acceptance of your people. Visit me with your deliverance, to see the good of your chosen ones, to rejoice in the gladness of your nation, to make my boast with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have acted perversely. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Misraim did not understand your wonders. They did not remember your many kindnesses, but rebelled by the sea. The seer reads. But he saved them for his name's sake, to make known his might. And he rebuked the sea of reeds, and it dried up. And he led them through the depths, through a wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of the hater, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And waters covered their adversaries, not one of them was left. Then they believed his words, they sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but greedily lusted in the wilderness and tried all in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness within their being. And they were jealous of Musha in the camp, of Aharon, the Kodeshi of Yahuwah. The earth opened up and swallowed Dathan and covered the company of Abiram. And a fire burned in her company. The flame consumed the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and bowed down to a molded image. Thus they changed their esteem into the form of an ox that eats grass. They forgot all their savior, the doer of greatness in Misraim, of wonders in the land of Ham, of fear by the sea of reeds. Then he said that he would destroy them. Had not Musha, his chosen one, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath from destroying. They then despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his word. And they grumbled in their tents. They did not listen to the voice of Yahuwah. So he lifted up his hand against them to make them fall in the wilderness and to make their seed fall among the Gentiles and to scatter them in the lands. And they joined themselves to Baal Peor, and a slaughter is made to the dead. Thus they provoked him with their deeds, and a plague broke out among them. Then Pinehas stood up and intervened, and the plague was stopped. And that was reckoned to him for righteousness to all generations forever. And they provoked wrath at the waters of Maribah, and Musha suffered on account of them. Because they embittered his Ruach, and he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples, as Yahuwah had commanded them, but mixed with the Gentiles, and learned their works, and served their idols. And they became a snare to them. And they slaughtered their sons and their daughters to demons, and they shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they offered to the idols of Canaan. And the land was defiled with blood. So they became unclean by their own works and went whoring by their own deeds. And the wrath of Yahuwah burned against his people and he loathed his own inheritance. Then he gave them into the hand of the Gentiles and those who hated them ruled over them. And their enemies oppressed them and they were humbled under their hand. Many times he delivered them. But they were bailed in their plans, so they were brought low for their wickedness. But he would look on their distress when he heard their cry and remember his covenant for their sake and relent according to the greatness of his kindness. And he would let them find compassion before all those holding them captive. Save us, O Yahuwah, our Lua, and gather us from among the Gentiles to get thanks to your Kodesh name. To exult in your praise. Baruch be Yahuwah, Allah of Yasharal.
from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shall say, so be it. Hallelujah. Give thanks to Yahuwah for goodness, for his kindness is everlasting. Let the redeemed of Yahuwah say, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the adversary and gathered out of the lands from east and from west, from north and from south. They wandered in a wilderness, in a desert way. They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. Their being in them grew faint. Then they cried out to Yahuwah in their distress. He delivered them out of their troubles, and he guided them by the right way to go to a city to settle. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for his kindness and his wonders to the children of men, for he has satisfied a longing being and has filled the hungry being with goodness. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the words of all and despised the counsel of the Most High. And he humbled their heart by toil. They stumbled and there was no one to help. And they cried out to Yahuwah in their distress. And he saved them out of their troubles. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death. And he broke their chains in pieces. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for his kindness and his wonders to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of bronze, and he cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their wickednesses, were afflicted. Their being loathed all food, and they drew near to the gates of death, and cried out to Yahuwah in their distress. He saved them out of their troubles. He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for his kindness and his wonders to the children of men, and let them bring slaughterings of thanksgiving, and relate his works with rejoicing, those who go down to the sea in ships, doing work in many waters. They see the works of Yahuwah, and his wonders in the deep, for he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea. They go up to the Shamayim, they go down to the depths, their being is melted because of evil. They dance and stagger like a drunkard, and all their wisdom is swallowed up. Then they cry out to Yahuwah in their distress, and he brings them out of their troubles. He caused the storm to be still, so that its waves were silent, and they rejoice because they are hushed. And he leads them to the haven of their delight. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for his kindness and his wonders to the children of men, and let them exalt him in the assembly of the people, and praise him in the seat of the elders. He makes rivers become a wilderness, and the fountains of water become a dry ground. A land of fruit becomes a salty desert for the evil of those who dwell in it. He makes a wilderness become a pool of water, and dry land become fountains of waters. And he causes the hungry to dwell there, and they build a city to settle in. And they sow fields and plant vineyards. And they make fruits of increase. And he brought them. And they increase greatly. And he does not let their cattle diminish. But when they are diminished and brought low. Through oppression, evil, and sorrow. He pours scorn on nobles. And causes them to wander in a pathless waste. But he raises the poor up from affliction. And makes clans like a flock. The straight ones see and rejoice, and all unrighteousness shuts his mouth. Who is wise? Then let him observe these. Let them understand the kindnesses of Yahuwah. A song, a psalm of Dawid. O oh, Allah, my heart is steadfast. I sing and give praise, even my esteem. Awake, harp and lyre, I await the dawn. I praise you, O oh, Yahuwah, among peoples. And I sing praises to you among the nations. For your kindness is great above the Shamaim, 
and your truth reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the Shamayim, O Elul, and your esteem above all the earth, in order that those you love might be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. The Lord has spoken in his set apartness. I exalt, I portion out Shechem, and I measure out the valley of Sukkot. Galad is mine, Manasseh is mine, and Ephraim is my chief defense. Yehuda is my lawgiver. Moab is my watchpot. Over Edom I cast my shoot. Over Peleshev I raise a shout. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who shall lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O Elul? And you did not go out with our armies, O Elul. Give us help from distress, for the help of man is not. In the Lord we do mightily, for it is he who treads down our adversaries. To the chief singer, a psalm of Dawid. Do not be silent, O allure of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceiver have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a false tongue. They have surrounded me with words of hatred, and they attack me without a cause. In return for my love, they accuse me while I'm in prayer, and they repay me evil for good. And hatred for my love appoint over him one who is wicked and let an accuser stand at his right hand when he is judged let him be found wicked and let his prayer become sin let his days be few let another take his office let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow and let his children always wander and beg and seek out of their ruins let the creditor lay a snare for all that he has and let strangers plunder his labor. Let him have no one to extend kindness, nor any to show favor to his fatherless children. Let his descendants be cut off, their name be blotted out in the next generation. Let the wickedness of his fathers be remembered before Yahuwah, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them always be before Yahuwah, and let him cut off their remembrance from the earth. Because he did not remember to show kindness, but persecuted the poor and needy man and the brokenhearted to put to death. He also loved cursing, so let it come to him. And he did not delight in Barakah, so let it be far from him. And he put cursing on as with his garment. So let it enter his inward parts like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him like a cloak he wraps around him and as a girdle that he always girds on. This is the reward of my accusers from Yahuwah and to those speaking evil against my being. But you, O Yahuwah, Master, deal with me for your name's sake, because your kindness is good. Deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I have gone like a lengthening shadow. I have been driven away like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh grows lean from fatness, and I, I have become a reproach to them. They see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O oh, Yahuwah, my Elua. Save me according to your kindness and let them know that this is your hand. You, Yahuwah, you have done it. Let them curse, but you, Barak. They shall arise, but be ashamed and let your servant rejoice. Let my accusers put on shame and be wrapped in their own confusion as in a cloak. I greatly thank Yahuwah with my mouth, and I praise him in the midst of the throng, for he stands at the right hand of the poor, to save from those judging his being. A Psalm of Dawid Yahuwah said to Adoni, Sit in my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Yahuwah sends your mighty scepter out of Sion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people volunteer in the day of your might. 
in the splendors of set apartness. From the womb, from the morning, you have the dew of your youth. Yahuwah has sworn and does not relent. You are a Kohan forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Yahuwah, at your right hand, shall smite kings in the day of his wrath. He judges among the nations. He shall fill with dead bodies. He shall crush their head over the mighty earth. He drinks of the stream by the wayside. Therefore, he lifts up the head. Hallelujah. I thank Yahuwah with all my heart. In the company of the straight and of the congregation. Great are the works of Yahuwah. Search for by all who delight in them. Splendor and greatness are his work, and his righteousness stands forever. He has made his wonders to be remembered. Yahuwah shows favor and is compassionate. He has given food to those who revere him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works to give to them the inheritance of the Gentiles. The works of his hands are truth and right ruling. All his orders are trustworthy. They are upheld forever and ever. Performed in truth and straightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Kodesh and awesome is his name. The reverence of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. All those doing them have a good understanding. His praise is standing forever. Hallelujah. Baruch is the man who reveres Yahuwah, who has greatly delighted in his commands. Mighty in the earth shall be his seed. The generation of the straight ones shall be Baruch. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness is standing forever. Light has risen in the darkness to the straight ones, showing favor, compassionate and righteous. Good is a man showing favor in lending. He sustains his matters in right ruling, for he is never shaken. The righteous is remembered forever. He is not afraid of an evil report. His heart is steadfast, trusting in Yahuwah. His heart is upheld. He is not afraid. While he looks on his adversaries, he scattered abroad. He gave to the poor. His righteousness is standing forever. His horn is exalted with esteem. The wicked sees it and shall be wroth. He gnashes his teeth and shall melt. The desire of the wicked perish. Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of Yahuwah. Praise the name of Yahuwah. Baruch be the name of Yahuwah, now and forever. From the rising of the sun to its going down, the name of Yahuwah is praised. Yahuwah is high above all nations. His esteem above the Shamayim. Who is like Yahuwah or Elua? Who is enthroned on high? He looks down on the Shamayim and in the earth. He raises the poor out of the dust, lifts the needy from a dunghill to make him sit with the nobles, with the nobles of his people, causing the barren to dwell in the house, a rejoicing mother of children. Hallelujah. When Yasharal went out of Mishraim, the house of Yaakob from a people of strange language, Yehuda became his Kodeshah, and Yasharal his rule. The sea saw it and fled. The Yardan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams. The little hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled? O Yardan, that you turned back. O mountains, that you skip like rams, 
O little hills like lambs. Tremble, O earth, from the face of the master, from the face of the allure of Yaakov, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Not to us, O Yahuwah, not to us, but to your name give esteem, for your kindness, for your truth. Why should the Gentiles say, Where now is their Allure? But our Allure is in the Shamayim. Whatever pleased him, he has done. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. They have noses, but they do not smell. They have hands, but they do not handle. They have feet, but they do not walk. They make no sound through their throat. The ones who make them shall become like them, all who trust in them. O oh, Yasharal, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. O oh, house of Aharon, Trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. You who revere Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Yahuwah has remembered us. He barak us. He barak the house of Yasharal. He barak the house of Aharon. He barak those who revere Yahuwah, the small and the great. Yahuwah give you increase more and more, you and your children. You are Baruch by Yahuwah, who made the Shamayim and earth. The Shamayim are the Shamayim of Yahuwah, but he has given the earth to the children of men. The dead do not hallelujah, nor any go down to silence. But we, we Barak Yah, now and forever. Hallelujah. I love Yahuwah because he has heard my voice, my pleas, because he has inclined his ear to me. I shall call throughout my days. The cords of death were around me and the pains of the grave came upon me. I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of Yahuwah. Oh, Yahuwah, I pray to you, deliver my being. Yahuwah shows favor and is righteous. And our Alua is compassionate. Yahuwah guards the simple. I was brought low, but he saved me. Return to your rest, O oh my being, for Yahuwah has treated you well. For you have delivered my being from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from falling. I shall walk before Yahuwah in the land of the living. I have believed, for I speak. I have been greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I return to Yahuwah? All his bounties are upon me. I lift up the cup of deliverance and call upon the name of Yahuwah. I pay my vows to Yahuwah. Now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of Yahuwah is the death of his kind ones. O oh, Yahuwah, I am truly your servant. I am your servant. The bond of your female servant. You have loosed my bonds. I bring you a slaughtering of thanksgiving and call upon the name of Yahuwah. I pay my vows to Yahuwah in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of Yahuwah, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, all you nations, extol him, all you peoples. But his kindness is mighty over us, and the truth of Yahuwah is everlasting. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good. Because his kindness is everlasting. Let Yasharal now say, His kindness is everlasting. Let the house of Aharon now say, His kindness is everlasting. 
Let those who revere Yahuwah now say, His kindness is everlasting. I called on Yah in distress. Yah answered me in a broad place. Yahuwah is on my side. I do not fear what man does to me. Yahuwah is for me among those helping me. Therefore, I look on those hating me. It is better to take refuge in Yahuwah than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in Yahuwah than to trust in princes. All the Gentiles surrounded me. In the name of Yahuwah, I shall cut them off. They surrounded me. Even they surrounded me. In the name of Yahuwah, shall I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They were extinguished like burning thorns. In the name of Yahuwah, I shall cut them off. Pushing, pushing me to fall. But Yahuwah helped me. Yah is my strength and song, and he has become my deliverance. The voice of rejoicing and deliverance is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of Yahuwah is doing mightily. The right hand of Yahuwah is exalted. The right hand of Yahuwah acts mightily. Let me not die, but live, and declare the works of Yah. Yah has punished me severely, but did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I enter through them. I thank Yah. This is the gates of Yahuwah. The righteous enter through it. I thank you for you have answered me and have become my deliverance. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was from Yahuwah. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day Yahuwah has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I pray, O Yahuwah, please save. I pray, O Yahuwah, please send prosperity. Baruch is he who is coming in the name of Yahuwah. We shall barak you from the house of Yahuwah. Yahuwah is all, and he gave us light. Bind the festal offering with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my all, and I praise you. You are my Alua, I exalt you. Get thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good, for his kindness is everlasting. Baruch are the perfect in the way, who walk in the Torah of Yahuwah. Baruch are those who observe his witnesses, who seek him with all the heart. Even they shall do no unrighteousness. They shall walk in his ways. You have commanded us to guard your orders diligently. Oh, that my ways were established to guard your laws. Then I would not be ashamed. When I look into all your commands, I thank you with the uprightness of heart. When I learn the right rulings of your righteousness, I guard your laws. Oh, do not leave me entirely. How would a young man cleanse his path? By guarding it according to your word. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. I have treasured up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Baruch are you, O Yahuwah. Teach me your laws. With my lips I have recounted all the right rulings of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your witnesses as over all riches. I meditate on your orders and regard your ways. I delight myself in your laws. I do not forget your word. Do good to your servant. Let me live and I guard your word. Open my eyes that I might see wonders from your Torah. I am a sojourner in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My being is crushed with longing for your right rulings at all times. You rebuke the proud, cursed ones who are straying from your commands. Remove from me reproach and scorn, for I have observed your witnesses. Though princes sat speaking against me, your servant meditates on your laws. Your witnesses also are my delight, my counselors. My being has been clinging to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have recounted my ways and you answered me. Teach me your laws. 
made me understand the way of your orders, that I might meditate on your wonders. My being has wept from grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your Torah. I have chosen the way of truth. Your right rulings I have held level. I have clung to your witnesses. O oh, Yahuwah, do not put me to shame. I run the way of your commands, for you enlarge my heart. Teach me, O oh, Yahuwah, the way of your laws, and I observe it to the end. Make me understand that I might observe your Torah and guard it with all my heart. Make me walk in the path of your commands, for I have delighted in it. Incline my heart to your witnesses, and not to greedy gain. Turn away my eyes from looking at falsehood, and revive me in your way. Establish your word to your servant, which leads to the reverence of you. Turn away my reproach which I dread, for your right rulings are good. See, I have longed for your orders. Revive me in your righteousness. And let your kindnesses come to me, O oh, Yahuwah, your deliverance, according to your word, so that I answer my reprover, for I have trusted in your word, and do not take away from my mouth the word of truth entirely, for I have waited for your right rulings, that I might guard your Torah continually, forever and ever, that I might walk in a broad place, for I have sought your orders, that I might speak your witnesses before kings and not be ashamed, that I might delight myself in your commands, which I have loved, that I might lift up my hands to your commands, which I have loved, while I meditate on your laws. Remember the word to your servant, on which you have caused me to wait. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me high. The proud have utterly scorned me. I did not turn aside from your Torah. I remembered your right rulings of old, O oh, Yahuwah, and I comfort myself. Rage has seized me because of the wicked, who forsake your Torah. Your laws have been my songs, in the place of my sojournings. I have remembered your name in the night, O oh, Yahuwah, and I guard your Torah. This has become mine. Because I have observed your orders, you are my portion, O Yahuwah. I have promised to guard your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Show me favor according to your word. I have thought upon my ways and turned my feet to your witnesses. I have hurried and did not delay to guard your commands. The cords of the wicked have surrounded me. Your Torah I have not forgotten. At midnight, I rise to give thanks to you for your righteous right rulings. I am a companion of all who revere you and of those guarding your orders. O oh, Yahuwah, your kindness has filled the earth. Teach me your laws. You have done good to your servant, O oh, Yahuwah, according to your word. Teach me good sense and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commands. Before I was afflicted, I myself was going astray, but now I have guarded your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your laws. The proud have forged a lie against me. With all hearts, I observe your orders. Their hearts has become like fat without feeling. I have delighted in your Torah. It was good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your laws. The Torah of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands have made me and formed me. Make me understand that I might learn your commands. Those who revere you see me and rejoice, for I have waited for your word. I know, O oh, Yahuwah, that your right rulings are righteous, and in trustworthiness you have afflicted me. Please let your kindness be for my comfort according to your word to your servant. Let your compassions come to me, that I might live, for your Torah is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame, for with lies they perverted me, 
I study your orders. Let those who revere you turn to me and those who know your witnesses. Let my heart be perfect in your laws so that I am not put to shame. For your deliverance, my being has pined away, for I have waited for your word. My eyes have pined away for your word, saying, when would it come from me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke. Your laws I have not forgotten. How many are the days of your servant? When do you execute right ruling on those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me, which is not according to your Torah. All your commands are trustworthy. They have persecuted me with lies. Help me. They almost made an end of me on earth. But I, I did not forsake your orders. Revive me according to your kindness, that I might guard the witness of your mouth. Forever, O Yahuwah, your word stands firm in the Shamaim. Your trustworthiness is to all generations. You establish the earth, and it stands. According to your right rulings, they have stood to this day, for all are your servants. If your Torah have not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. Let me never forget your orders, for by them you have given me high. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your orders. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me. I understand your witnesses. I have seen an end of all perfection. Your command is exceedingly broad. Oh, how I love your Torah. It is my study all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever before me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your witnesses are my study. I understand more than the aged, for I have observed your orders. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I might guard your word. I have not turned aside from your right rulings, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet to my taste has your word been, more than honey to my mouth. From your orders I get understanding. Therefore I have hated every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet, and a light to my path. I have sworn, and I confirm, to guard your righteous right rulings. I have been afflicted very much. O oh, Yahuwah, revive me according to your word. Please accept the voluntary offerings of my mouth, O oh, Yahuwah, and teach me your right rulings. My life is in my hand continually, and your Torah I have not forgotten. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your orders. Your witnesses are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to do your laws forever to the end. I have hated doubt and thoughts, but I have loved your Torah. You are my hiding place and my shield. I have waited for your word. Turn away from me, you evildoers. For I observe the commands of my Lord. Support me according to your word that I might live and do not put me to shame because of my expectation. Sustain me that I might be saved and always look to your laws. You have made light of all those who stray from your laws for falsehood is their deceit. You have made to cease all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I have loved your witnesses. My flesh has trembled for reverence of you, and I am in awe of your right rulings. I have done right ruling and righteousness. Lead me not to my oppressors. Guarantee your servant's well-being. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes have pined away for your deliverance and for the word of your righteousness. Do with your servant according to your kindness. And teach me your laws. I am your servant. Make me understand that I might know your witnesses. It is time for Yahuwah to act, for they have broken your Torah. Therefore, I have loved your commands more than gold, even fine gold. Therefore, all orders I count as right. I have hated every false way. Your witnesses are wonders, so my being observes them. The opening up of your words gives light. 
giving understanding to the simple. I have opened my mouth and panted, for I have longed for your commands. Turn to me and show me favor, according to your right ruling, toward those who love your name. Establish my footsteps by your word, and let no wickedness have rule over me. Redeem me from the oppression of man, that I might guard your orders. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your laws. Streams of water have run down from my eyes, because they did not guard your Torah. Righteous are you, O Yahuwah, and your right rulings are straight. You have commanded your witnesses in righteousness and much truth. My ardor has consumed me, for my adversaries have forgotten your words. Your word is exceedingly refined, and your servant has loved it. I am small and despised. I have not forgotten your orders. Your righteousness is righteousness forever, and your Torah is truth. Distress and anguish have found me. Your commands are my delight. The righteousness of your witnesses is forever. Make me understand that I might live. I have called with all my heart. Answer me, O Yahoo. I observe your laws. I have called upon you. Save me that I might guard your witnesses. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have waited for your word. My eyes have gone before the night watches to study your word. Hear my voice according to your kindness. O Yahuwah, revive me according to your right ruling. Those who pursue mischief have drawn near. They have been far from your Torah. You are near, O Yahuwah, and all your commands are truth. Of old I have known your witnesses, that you have founded them forever. See my affliction and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your Torah. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they have not sought your laws. Your compassions are many. O Yahuwah, revive me according to your right rulings. My persecutors and adversaries are many. I have not turned aside from your witnesses. I saw traitors and was loath, because they did not guard your word. See how I have loved your orders. Yahuwah. Revive me according to your kindness. The sum of your word is truth, and all your righteous right rulings are forever. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but at your word my heart stood in awe. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I have hated falsehood and loathed it. Your Torah I have loved. I have praised you seven times a day because of your righteous right rulings. Great peace have those loving your Torah, and for them there is no stumbling block. Yahuwah, I have waited for your deliverance, and I have done your commands. My being has guarded your witnesses, and I love them exceedingly. I have guarded your orders and your witnesses, for all my ways are before you. My cry comes before you, O Yahuwah. Make me understand according to your word. Let my prayer come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips pour forth praise, for you teach me your laws. My tongue sings of your word, for all your commands are righteousness. Your hand is a help to me, for I have chosen your orders. I have longed for your deliverance, O Yahuwah, and your Torah is my delight. My being lives, and it praises you, and your right rulings help me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commands. A Song of Degrees In my distress, I cried to Yahuwah, and he answered me. Yahuwah, deliver my being from false lips, from a treacherous tongue. What will one give to you, or what will one do to you, O treacherous tongue? 
sharp arrows of a mighty man with coals of the broomwood. Woe to me, for I have sojourned in Meshech. I have dwelt among the tents of Kedar. My being has dwelt too long with him who hates peace. I am peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. A Song of Degrees I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yahuwah, maker of the Shamayim and earth. He does not allow your foot to be moved. He who watches over you does not slumber. See, he who is guarding Yasharal neither slumbers nor sleeps. Yahuwah is your guard. Yahuwah is your shade at your right hand. The sun does not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Yahuwah guards you from all evil. He guards your being. Yahuwah guards your going out and your coming in, now and forever. A Song of Degrees of Dawid I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of Yahuwah. Our feet has been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is bound together, where the tribes have come up, the tribes of Yah, a witness to Yasharal, to get thanks to the name of Yahuwah. For there the thrones of right ruling were appointed, the thrones of the house of Dawid. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let those who love you be at rest. Peace be within your walls. Rest in your castles. For the sake of my brothers and companions, I say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of Yahuwah, our Lord, I seek your good. A Song of Degrees I shall lift up my eyes unto you who dwell in the Shamayim. See, as the eyes of servants are toward the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a female servant are toward the hand of her mistress, so are our eyes toward Yahuwah, our Lord, until he shows favor to us. Show favor to us, O Yahuwah, show favor to us. For we are exceedingly filled with mockery. Our being is exceedingly filled with the scoffing of those who are at ease, with the mockery of the proud. A Song of Degrees of Dawid If it had not been Yahuwah who was on our side, let Yasharal not say, if it had not been Yahuwah who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive in their burning rage against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our being. Then the proud waters would have gone over our being. Baruch be Yahuwah, who did not give us as prey to their teeth. Our being has escaped like a bird from the snare of the trappers. The snare was broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of Yahuwah, maker of the Shamayim and earth. A Song of Degrees Those who trust in Yahuwah are like Mount Sion. It is not shaken. It remains forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so Yahuwah surrounds his people, now and forever. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch forth their hands to unrighteousness. Do good, O Yahuwah, to
to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, Yahuwah shall lead them away with the workers of wickedness. Peace be upon Yasharal. A Song of Degrees When Yahuwah turns back the captivity of Sion, we shall be like dreamers. Then our mouth shall be filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then shall they say among the Gentiles, Yahuwah has done greatness for them. Yahuwah shall do greatness for us. We shall be glad. Turn back our captivity, O Yahuwah, like the streams in the south. Those sowing in tears shall reap with songs of joy. He who goes on and weeps, bearing seed for sowing, shall indeed come in with rejoicing, bearing his sheaves. A song of degrees to Shaloma. If Yahuwah does not build the house, its builders have labored in vain. If Yahuwah does not guard the city, the watchman has stayed awake in vain. In vain do you rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of toil. So he gives his beloved sleep. Look. Children are an inheritance from Yahuwah. The fruit of the womb is the reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of one's youth. Baruch is the man who has filled his quiver with them. They are not ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. A song of Degrees Baruch are all who revere Yahuwah, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the labor of your hands. Be Baruch, and let it be well with you. Let your wife be as a fruit-bearing vine within your house. Your sons like all the plants all around your table. Look, so shall the man be Baruch, who reveres Yahuwah. Yahuwah shall barak you out of Sion and let you see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life and let you see your children's children. Peace be upon Yasharal. A Song of Degrees Often they have distressed me from my youth. Let Yasharal not say, Often they have distressed me from my youth, but they have not overcome me. The plowers plowed on my back. They made their furrows long. Yahuwah is righteous. He has cut the cords of the wicked in two. Let all those who hate Sion be put to shame and turned back. Let them be as the grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up. That shall not fill the reaper's hand, nor the sheaves the binder's bosom. And those who pass by shall not say, The Baraka of Yahuwah be upon you. We have Barak you in the name of Yahuwah. A Song of Degrees Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Yahuwah. O oh, Yahuwah, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my prayers. O oh, Yah, if you should watch wickedness, O oh, Yahuwah, who would stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you might be revered. I look to Yahuwah, my being has looked, and for his word I have waited. My being for Yahuwah, more than those watching for morning, watching for morning. O oh, Yasharal. Wait for Yahuwah. For with Yahuwah there is kindness, and with him is much redemption. For he shall redeem Yasharal from all his wickednesses.
A Song of Degrees of Dawid. O oh, Yahuwah, my heart has not been proud, nor have my eyes been haughty. Neither have I concerned myself with great matters, nor with those too wondrous for me. Have I not calmed and kept my being silent, like one weaned by his mother? My being is like one weaned. O oh, Yasharal, wait for Yahuwah, now and forever. A Song of Degrees O oh, Yahuwah, remember Dawid, all his afflictions, how he swore to Yahuwah, vowed to the mighty ones of Yaakob, not to enter into my dwelling house, not to get into my bed, not to give sleep to my eyes, or slumber to my eyelids, until I find a place for Yahuwah, and Mishkan for the mighty one of Yaakob. See, we heard of it in Ephratah. We found it in the fields of the forest. Let us go into his dwelling places. Let us bow ourselves at his footstool. Arise, O Yahuwah, to your place of rest. You and the ark of your strength. Let your kuhanim put on righteousness. And your kind ones shout for joy. For the sake of your servant Dawid, do not turn away the face of your anointed one. Yahuwah has sworn in truth to Dawid. He does not turn from it. Of the fruit of your body I place upon your throne. If your sons guard my covenant and my witnesses that I teach them, their sons shall sit upon your throne forever. For Yahuwah has chosen Sion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my place of rest forever. Here I dwell, for I have desired it. I greatly barack her provision. I satisfy her poor with bread. And I put deliverance on her kuhani, and her kind ones seen for joy. There I made the horn of Dawid grow. I shall prepare a lamp for my anointed one. I put shame on his enemies. While on him his diadem shall shine. A Song of Degrees The Dawid See how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Like the precious oil on the head running down on the beard the beard of Aharon, running down on the collar of his robes. Like the dew of Hermon, that comes down on the mountains of Sion. For there, Yahuwah commanded the Barakah, high forever. A Song of Degrees Come, Barak Yahuwah, all you servants of Yahuwah, who are standing in the house of Yahuwah by night. Lift up your hands in the Kodesh place, and Barak Yahuwah, Yahuwah, maker of the Shamayim and earth, Barak you from Sion. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Yahuwah. Praise you servants of Yahuwah who are standing in the house of Yahuwah in the courts of the house of our Lord. Hallelujah. For Yahuwah is good. Sing praises to his name for it is pleasant. For Yah has chosen Yaakov for himself. Yasharal for his treasured possession. For I know that Yahuwah is great, and our master is above all mighty ones. Yahuwah has done whatever pleased him, in the Shamayim and in earth, in the seas and in all the depths, causing vapors to go up from the ends of the earth. He made lightning for the rain, 
bringing forth wind from his treasuries, who smote the firstborn of Mizraim from man to beast. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Mizraim, on Pharaoh and on all his servants, who smote many nations and slew mighty kings, even Sahon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the reigns of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance to Yasharal, his people. O Yahu, your name is forever. O Yahuwah, your remembrance to all generations. For Yahuwah rightly rules his people and has compassion on his servants. The idols of the Gentiles are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. Also, there is no breath in their mouth. Those making them become like them. Everyone who is trusting in them. Barak Yehu, O house of Yasharal. Barak Yehu, O you house of Aharon. Barak Yehu, O house of Lewi. You who revere Yehu, Barak Yahuwah. Baruch from Sion. Yahuwah be who dwells in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Give thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good, for his kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the allure of mighty ones, for his kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the master of masters. For his kindness is everlasting to him who alone does great wonders for his kindness is everlasting to him who by wisdom made the Shamayim for his kindness is everlasting to him who spread the earth on the waters for his kindness is everlasting to him who made great lights for his kindness is everlasting the sun to rule by day for his kindness is everlasting the moon and stars to rule by night, for his kindness is everlasting. To him who smote Mizraim and their firstborn, for his kindness is everlasting. And brought out Yasharal from their midst, for his kindness is everlasting. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his kindness is everlasting. To him who split apart the sea of reeds, for his kindness is everlasting. And made Yasharal pass through the midst of it. For his kindness is everlasting. But shook off Pharaoh and his army in the cedar reeds. For his kindness is everlasting. To him who led his people through the wilderness. For his kindness is everlasting. To him who smote great kings. For his kindness is everlasting. And slew mighty kings. For his kindness is everlasting. Even Sahon, king of the Amorites, for his kindness is everlasting. And Og, king of Bashan, for his kindness is everlasting. And gave their land as an inheritance, for his kindness is everlasting. An inheritance to Yasharal, his servant, for his kindness is everlasting. Who remembered us in our humiliation, for his kindness is everlasting. And rescued us from our adversaries. For his kindness is everlasting. Who gives food to all flesh. For his kindness is everlasting. Get thanks to the all of the Shamayim. For his kindness is everlasting. By the rivers of Babel. There we sat down and we wept. As we remember Sion. We hung our leers. Upon the willows in the midst of it. For they are our captors. Asked us for the words of a song. And our plunderers for rejoicing. Sing to us the song of Sion. How could we sing the song of Yahuwah on foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, Let my right hand forget. Let my tongue cling to my palate. If I do not remember you. If I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Yahuwah, against the sons of Edom, 
the day of Jerusalem, who said, Lay it bare, lay it bare to its foundation. O daughter of Babel, who are to be destroyed, Baruch is he who repays you your deed, what you did to us. Baruch is he who shall take and dash your little ones against the rock. Of Dawid, I will praise Yahuwah with all my heart. Before Yahuwah, Allah, I sing your praises. I bow myself towards your Kodesh Hakal and give thanks to your name for your kindness and for your truth. For you have made great your word, your name above all. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my being. Let all the kings of the earth get thanks to you, O Yahuwah, when they shall hear the words of your mouth, and let them sing of the ways of Yahuwah, for great is the esteem of Yahuwah. Though Yahuwah is exalted, he looks on the humble, but the proud he proceeds from a distance. Though I walk in the midst of distress, you revive me, you stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies. And your right hand saves me. Yahuwah does perfectly for me. Oh, Yahuwah, your kindness is everlasting. Do not forsake the work of your hands. To the chief singer, a psalm of Dawid. Oh, Yahuwah, you have searched me. And know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You spread my path and my lying down. And know well all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue. But see, O oh Yahuwah, you know it all. You have closed me in, behind and before. And laid your hand upon me. Knowledge too wondrous for me. It is high. I cannot fathom. Where would I go from your Ruach? Or where would I flee from your face? If I go up into the Shamayim, you are there. If I make my bed in the grave, see, you are there. I take the wings of the morning. I dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. There too, your hand will lead me. And your right hand hold me. If I say, darkness shall cover me. Then night will be light to me. Even darkness is not dark for you, but night shines as the day. As is darkness, so is light. For you, you possess my kidneys. You have covered me in my mother's womb. I give thanks to you, for I am awesomely and wondrously made. Wondrous are your works, and my being knows it well. My bones were not concealed from you. When I was shaped in a hidden place, knit together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body, and in your book all of them were written, the days they were formed, while none was among them. And how precious are your thoughts to me, O oh all! How great has been the sum of them! If I should count them, they will be more than the sand. When I wake up, I'm still with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh, Lord. Depart from me, therefore, men of bloodshed. They speak against you wickedly. Bring your enemies to naught. O oh, Yahuwah, do I not hate them who hate you? And do I not loathe them who rise up against you? With a complete hatred, I hate them. They have become my enemies. Search me, O oh, all, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if an idolatrous way is in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. To the chief singer, a psalm of Dawid. Rescue me, O Yahuwah, from men of evil. Preserve me from men of violence, who have devised evil in their hearts. 
They stir up conflicts all day long. They sharpen their tongues like a snake. The poison of cobras is under their lips. Salah. Guard me, O Yahuwah, from the hands of the wicked. Guard me from a man of violence who have schemed to trip up my steps. The proud have hidden a trap for me in cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have laid snares for me. Salah. I said to Yahuwah, you are my all. Hear the voice of my prayers, O Yahuwah. O Master Yahuwah, my saving strength. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Yahuwah. Do not promote his scheme, Salah. Those who surround me lift up their head. The trouble of their lips cover them. Let burning coals fall on them. Let them be made to fall into the fire, into deep pits. Let them not rise again. Let not a slanderer be established in the earth. Let evil capture the man of violence speedily. I have known that Yahuwah maintains the cause of the afflicted, the right rule of the poor. Only let the righteous get thanks to your name. Let the straight ones dwell in your presence. A Psalm of Dawid Yahuwah, I have cried out to you. Hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I cry out to you. Let my prayer be prepared before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening offering. O Yahuwah, place a guard for my mouth. Watch over the door of my lips. Let not my heart be inclined to evil. To practice deeds of wickedness with men working wickedness and let me not eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous one smite me or reprove me in kindness. It is oil on my head. Let my head not refuse it. My prayer is still against their evil deeds. Their judges have been thrown down by the sides of the rock. But they have heard my words for they have been pleasant. Our bones are scattered at the mouth of the grave, as when one plows and breaks up the earth. But my eyes are upon you, O Master Yahuwah, in you I take refuge. Do not pour out my life. Guard me from the clutches of the trap they have laid for me, and from the snares of the workers of wickedness. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by. A poem of Dawid, a prayer when he was in the cave. I cry out to Yahuwah with my voice. I pray to Yahuwah with my voice. I pour out my complaints before him. I declare before him my distress. When my Ruach grew faint within me, then you know my path in the way in which I walk. They have hidden a trap for me. Look to the right hand and see, and no one is concerned for me. No refuge remains to me. No one inquires after my being. I cried out to you, O Yahuwah. I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I'm brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my being out of prison to get thanks to your name. Let the righteous gather around me because you deal kindly with me. A Psalm of Dawid. Hear my prayer, O oh, Yahuwah. Give ear to my pleadings. In your trustworthiness, answer me in your righteousness. You do not enter into right ruling with your servant. For before you, no one living is in the right. 
For the enemy has pursued my being. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in dark places, like the dead of old. Therefore my ruach grew faint within me. My heart within me is stunned. I remember the days of old. I meditated on all your works. I ponder on the work of your hands. I have spread out my hands to you. My being is like a thirsty land for you. Salah. Hasten, answer me, O Yahuwah. My ruah fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like those going down into the pit. Let me hear your kindness in the morning, for in you I have put my trust. Let me know the way in which I should walk, for I have lifted up my being to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Yahuwah. I take refuge in you. Teach me to do your good pleasure. For you are my allure. Let your good ruach lead me in the land of straightness. For the sake of your name, O Yahuwah, revive me. In your righteousness, bring my being out of distress. And in your kindness, cut off my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my life. For I am your servant. Of Dawid. Baruch be Yahuwah, my rock, who is teaching my hands for fighting, my fingers for battle, my kindness and my stronghold, my tower and my deliverer, my shield, and in whom I take refuge, who is subduing peoples under me. Yahuwah, what is man that you should know him? Bond of man that you should think of him. Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Stretch out your shamayim, O Yahuwah, and come down. Touch the mountains that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter them. Send forth your arrows and confuse them. Send forth your hand from above. Rescue me and deliver me out of great waters. From the hands of foreigners, whose mouth has spoken falsehood. And whose right hand is a right hand of lies. O Allure, a new song I sing to you. On a harp of ten strings I sing praises to you. Who gives deliverance to kings. Who rescues Dawid, his servant, from the evil sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of foreigners. Whose mouth has spoken falsehood. And whose right hand is a right hand of lies. Because our sons are like plants. Grown up in their youth. Our daughters like hewn stones. Polished like a palace building. Let our storehouses be filled. Supplying all kinds. Let our sheep bring forth thousands. And ten thousands in our fields. Our cattle well laden. No breaking in. No going out. And no crying in our streets. Baruch are the people who have it so. Baruch are the people whose allure is Yahuwah. Tahala a Dawid I exalt you, my Alua, O Sovereign, and barak your name forever and ever. All day long I barak you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahuwah and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Generation after generation praise your works, and they declare your mighty acts. I declare the esteemed splendor of your excellency, and the matters of your wondrous works. And they speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I recount your greatness. They send forth the remembrance of your great goodness, and they sing of your righteousness. Yahuwah shows favor. And is compassionate, patient, and great in kindness. Yahuwah is good to all, and he has compassion on all his works. All your works give thanks to you, O Yahuwah, and your kind ones barak you. They speak of the esteem of your reign and talk of your might. 
to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the esteemed splendor of his reign. Your reign is an everlasting reign, and your rule is throughout all generations. Yahuwah is trustworthy in all his words and shows favor in all his deeds. Yahuwah is supporting all who are fallen and raising up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you expectantly, and you are giving them their food in this season. Opening your hand and satisfying the desire of all that live. Yahuwah is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. Yahuwah is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He does the desire of those who revere him and he hears their cry and saves them. Yahuwah preserves all those loving him. But all the wicked he destroys. My mouth speaks the praise of Yahuwah, and let all flesh barak his Kodesh name forever and ever. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, my being, while I live, I hallelujah! I sing praises to my allure while I exist. Do not put your trust in princes, in the bond of man, in whom is no deliverance. His ruach goes out, he returns to his earth, and that day his plans perish. Baruch is he who has the all of Yaakov for his help, whose expectancy is in Yahuwah, his allure. Maker of the Shamayim and earth, the sea and all that is in them who is guarding truth forever, doing right ruling for the oppressed, giving bread to the hungry. Yahuwah releases those who are bound. Yahuwah opens the blind. Yahuwah raises those who are bowed down. Yahuwah guards the righteous. Yahuwah guards the strangers. He lifts up the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. Yahuwah reigns forever. O oh, Sion, your allure to all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For it is good to sing praises to our allure. For it is pleasant. Praise is fitting. Yahuwah builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Yasharal, heals the brokenhearted, and binds up their wounds, appoints the number of the stars. He gives names to all of them. Great is our master and mighty in power. There is no limit to his understanding. Yahuwah lifts up the meek ones. He throws the wicked down to the ground. Respond to Yahuwah with thanksgiving. Sing praises on a leer to our Alua, who covers the Shamayim with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to sprout on the mountains, giving to the beast its food. To the young ravens that cry, he does not delight in the strength of the horse. He takes no pleasure in the legs of a man. Yahuwah takes pleasure in those who revere him. In those who wait for his kindness. Extol Yahuwah, O Jerusalem. Praise your Lord, O Sion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has barak your children in your midst. Who makes peace in your borders. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. Who sends out his command to the earth. His word runs very speedily. Who gives snow like wool. He scatters the frost like ashes, throwing out his hail like pieces. Who stands before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow, the waters flow, declaring his word to Yaakob, his laws and his right rulings to Yasharal. He has not done so with any nation, and they have not known right rulings. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who from the Shamaim. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his Malachim. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, Shamayim of Shamayim, and you waters above the Shamayim. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for he commanded and they were created. And he established them forever and ever. He gave a law and they passed not beyond. Hallelujah, Yahuwah from the earth. You great sea creatures in all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind that does his word, the mountains and all hills, fruit tree and all setters, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, rulers and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and Shamayim. He also lifts up the horn of his people, the praise of all his kind ones, of the children of Yasharal, a people near to him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Sing to Yahuwah a new song, his praise in an assembly of kind ones. Let Yasharal rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Sion exult in their sovereign. Let them praise his name in a dance. Let them sing praises to him with tambourine and lyre. Let Yahuwah take pleasure in his people. He embellishes the meek ones with deliverance. Let the kind ones exult in esteem. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the exaltation of all be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the Gentiles, punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with iron bands, to execute on them the written right ruling. A splendor it is for all his kind ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise all in his set apartness. Praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blowing of the ram's horn. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with sound and cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let all that have breath. Hallelujah. 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 A psalm of Dawid. Bonnie is shy. I was smaller than my brothers and the youngest of my father's sons. So he made me shepherd of his flock and ruler over his little goats. My hands fashioned a reed pipe and my fingers a leer. And so I gave esteem to Yahuwah. I said in my heart, the mountains cannot witness to him. Nor can the hills proclaim, lift up my words, you trees, and my compositions, you sheep. For who can announce, and who can declare, and who can recount my deeds? The master of all has seen, the allure of all has heard, and he has paid attention. He has sent his nabi to anoint me, sham you all to raise me up. My brothers went out to meet him, handsome of figure, handsome in appearance, although they were tall of stature and handsome because of their hair. Yahuwah, Allure did not choose them, but he sent and fetched me from behind the flock 
and anointed me with the oil. And he made me prince of his people and ruler over the sons of his covenant. Spoken by Dawid, when he was contending with the lion and the wolf, which took his sheep from his flock. O oh, Alua, O oh, Alua, come to my aid, help me, save me, and deliver my being from the slayer. Shall I go down to Sheol by the mouth of the lion? Shall the wolf be the end of me? Was it not enough for those who lay in wait for my father's flock? And tore a sheep of my father's flock. Must they also wish the destruction of my own being? Have pity, O Yahuwah, and save your kind one from destruction, so that he may rehearse your esteem for all his days, and may praise your great name. When you have delivered him from the hands of the destroying lion and of the ravenous wolf, and when you have delivered my captivity, from the hands of the wild beasts. Quickly, Master, send from yourself a deliverer and draw me out of the gaping pit which imprisons me in the depths. Spoken by Dawid, giving thanks to Elul for deliverance from the lion and the wolf. After he has slain them both. Praise you who. All you nations. Esteem him. And barak his name. He has rescued the being of his chosen. From the hands of death. And delivered his kind one from destruction. He has delivered me from the nets of the grave. And my being from the pit that cannot be fathomed. Before my deliverance could go forth from him. I was very nearly torn in two pieces by two wild beasts, but he sent his Malik and closed up for me the gaping mouths and rescued my life from destruction. My being shall esteem him and exalt him because of all his kindnesses which he has done to me and shall continue to do to me. A prayer of Hiskiyahu when he was surrounded by his enemies. Give esteem to a lure with a loud voice and proclaim his esteem in the assembly of many. Exalt his praise among the multitude of the upright and speak of his esteem with the righteous. Join your beings to the good and to the perfect to esteem the most high allure. Gather yourselves together to make known his strength and do not be slow in showing forth his deliverance, his strength and his esteem to all who are young. Wisdom has been given that the esteem of Yahuwah may be known. And it has been made known to men to tell of his works, to make known to children his strength and to cause those who lack understanding to understand his esteem who are far from his entrances and distant from his gates. For the allure of Yaakob is exalted, and his esteem is upon all his works. He takes pleasure in a man who esteems the Most High, as in one who offers fine flour, as in one who offers male goats and calves, and as in one who makes the altar fat with a multitude of burnt offerings and as a smell of incense from the hands of the righteous. His voice shall be heard from your upright gates, an admonition from the voice of the upright. In their eating and their drinking, when they share together, they shall be satisfied in truth. Their mind dwells on the Torah of the Most High Allure, and their words are to make known his strength. How far from the wicked are the words of him, and from all transgressors to know him, See, the eye of Yahuwah shows favor to the good. He increases favor to those who esteem him, and he delivers their being from the time of evil. Baruch be Yahuwah, 
who has delivered the oppressed from the hand of the wicked, who raises up a horn out of Yaakov, and a judge of the nations out of Yasharal, that he may prolong his dwelling in Sion, and may adorn our age in Jerusalem. A prayer of thanksgiving, when the people obtain permission from Koresh to return home. O Yahuwah, I have cried to you, hear me. I have lifted up my hands to your Kodesh dwelling place. Incline your ear to me. Grant me my request. Do not withhold my prayer from me. Build up my being and do not destroy it. And do not lay it bare before the wicked. Those who reward wickedness turn you away from me, O oh, judge of truth. O oh, Yahuwah, do not judge me according to my sins, because no flesh is innocent before you. Make your Torah plain to me, O oh, Yahuwah, and teach me your right rulings. Many shall hear of your works, and the nations shall praise your esteem. Remember me, and do not forget me. And do not lead me into that which is too difficult for me. Cause the sins of my youth to pass from me. And remember my discipline against me no longer. Cleanse me, O Yahuwah, from the evil leprosy. And do not let it come against me any longer. Dry up its roots from within me. And do not let its leaves sprout within me. You are great, O Yahuwah. Therefore, my request shall be fulfilled in you. To whom do I complain that he may give to me? What help can be found in the strength of men? From you, O Yahuwah, is my confidence. I cried to Yahuwah, and he heard me, and healed the breaking of my heart. I slumbered and slept. I dreamed and was helped, and Yahuwah sustained me. They grieved my heart. I return thanks because Yahuwah delivered me. Now I rejoice in their shame. I have waited on you, and I am not ashamed. May you be given honor forever, even forever and ever. Deliver Yasharal, your elect, and those of the house of Yaakob, your proven one. A plea for deliverance. A worm does not thank you, nor does a maggot recount your kindness. Only the living thank you. All those who feet stumble thank you. When you make your kindness known to them and cause them to understand your righteousness. For the being of all the living is in your hand. And you had given breath to all flesh. O Yahuwah, do to us according to your goodness, according to the greatness of your compassion, and according to the greatness of your righteous deeds. Yahuwah listens to the voice of all who love his name, and he does not permit his kindness to depart from them. Baruch be Yahuwah, who does righteous deeds who crowns his Kodoshim with kindness and favors. My being shouts to praise your name, to praise your compassion with joy, to announce your trustworthiness. For there is no limit to your praises. I belong to death because of my sins, and my wickednesses had sold me to the grave. But you saved me, O Yahuwah, according to the greatness of your compassion. And according to the greatness of your righteous deeds, I have indeed loved your name and have taken refuge in your shadow. My heart is strengthened when I remember your power and I rely on your compassion. Forgive my sins, O Yahuwah, and cleanse me of my wickedness. Grant me a ruach of trustworthiness and knowledge. Let me not be ashamed and ruined. Do not allow the wicked one or an unclean ruach to overtake me.
and do not allow affliction or evil inclination to possess my bones. For you, O oh Yahuwah, are my praise, and I wait on you every day. My brothers rejoice with me, and the house of my father is awed by your favor. I shall always rejoice in you. A Song to Sion I shall remember you, O Sion, for a barakah. I love you with all my strength, for your remembrance is to be barak forever. Your expectancy is great, O Sion. Peace and your awaited deliverance shall come. Generation after generation shall dwell in you. And generations of the righteous shall be your ornament. They who long for the day of your deliverance shall rejoice in the greatness of your esteem. They shall be nursed on the fullness of your esteem. And in your lovely streets they shall make tinkling sounds. You shall remember the righteous deeds of your Nabi'im and shall esteem yourself in the deeds of your righteous ones. Cleanse violence from your midst. May lying and wickedness be cut off from you. Your son shall rejoice within you and your loved ones shall be joined to you. How much have they waited on your deliverance? How much have your perfect ones mourned for you? Your expectancy. O Sion shall not perish, and your expectation shall not be forgotten. Is there a righteous man who has perished? Is there a man who has escaped his wickedness? Man is tried according to his way. Each is repaid according to his deeds. Your oppressors shall be cut off from around you, O Sion, and all who hate you shall be dispersed. Your praise is pleasing. O Sion, it rises up in all the world. I remember you many times for a barakah, and I barak you with all my heart. You shall attain to everlasting righteousness, and shall receive barakot from the noble. Take the vision which speaks of you, and the dreams of the Nabi'im requested for you. Be exalted and increase, O Sion. And praise the Most High, your Redeemer. May my being rejoice in your esteem. A song to the name of Yahuwah. In the midst of the congregation, they shall praise the name of Yahuwah. For he has come to judge every action. To remove the wicked from the earth. So that the children of wickedness shall not be found. The Shamayim shall give their due. And there shall be no droughts within their boundaries. The earth shall give its fruit in its time. And its produce shall not fail. The fruit tree shall give of the fruit of its vineyards. And the ground shall not deprive of its produce. The poor shall eat. And those who revere Allah shall be filled. A song to Yehuda. The Shamayim and earth shall give praise together. Let all the stars of the evening twilight give praise. Rejoice, Yehuda, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and be glad with gladness. Celebrate your feasts and pay your vows, for there is no wickedness in your midst. Raise your hand and fortify your right hand. Look, the enemy shall perish, and all the workers of wickedness shall be dispersed. But you, O Yahuwah, are forever, and your esteem shall be forever and ever. Hallelujah! A song to the Creator. Yahuwah is great and Kodesh. 
the most Kodesh for generation after generation. Excellency goes before him, and abundance of many waters comes after him. Kindness and truth surround his face. Truth, right ruling, and righteousness are the pedestal of his throne. He divides lights from the unknown, and he establishes the dawn by the knowledge of his heart. All his Malachim sang when they saw it, for he showed them that which they had not known. He crowns the mountains with fruit, with good food for all the living. May the master of the earth be Barak, along with his power. For he establishes the world by his wisdom. He stretched out the Shamayim by his understanding and brought forth wind from his stores. He made lightnings for the rain and raised mist from the end of the earth.